welcome to episode 53 of the Admission Podcast, a show where two film graduates discuss classic, iconic, and obscure films from times gone by. We're your host, Oscar E. Fitchett. I am next to a polka dot play, and it's Robbie Sweetdale. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Excellent. Thank you very much. I nearly, I nearly panicked because I was like, "Is this episode fifty three? It is." Because, but yeah. being it, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I, say, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> well, 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 we'll find out. I'm saying this for definite. Watch like the title of the video isn't that. Let me have a look. Let, let me. Let me. Let me um, check this. Uh, are we both checking? I'm checking right now. Yeah, it's fifty three. Yeah, it's fifty three. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you got it. I've got it. I've got it. I need to ask you a question because uh, oh, I. Gosh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know well under pressure. No, no, it's more so because it's like I, I obviously since I edit these fucking things, oh, yeah. um, uh, I, I'm, I'm curious because it's like at the beginning of the Barbenheimer video, you said about the fact how you had like a mank joke to make in relation to it, and you didn't. So, can you remember what the fuck your mank joke related <laughs> Oppenheimer was? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have no idea. The only connection I can think of is Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. Yeah, that's, what that's, the, that's the only link I can see, and it's tenuous at that. Well, because I made a daft little thing being like, is the joke that he sounds like wank? And you went, no, fuck you. Like, it's, it's, so it no, wasn't that's just too, that's, sh- too, that's too low brow for me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not well thought out like my background jokes. Like this. <laughs> this is a niche. <laughs> this is very niche today. Even I barely know if I'm being perfectly honest. It's, it's just that when you said the name of the film, it, I th- this is what I imagined. What come and see, and you just come and see. This fucking just thing. this lady going around with her nice little dog in a polka dot plane. What's it from? It's, it's from the show got, uh, "Come Outside," uh, which is why, yeah, I think it's the come. <laughs> it's the it's the come link. I'm if you will. That bit, I'm taking that bit <laughs> out to, to, to save on a rainy day. Well, <laughs> well, the clip of I think it's the cum. <laughs> yeah, just, good. Just that bit. I'm going to sound like that bit just for me. Oh, just yeah. For me for that yeah, bit. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what was good? Oh, yeah, update. Update, oh, on yeah. My li- oh, update on my little Wales holiday in Anglesey. Oh, yeah, what's that? Um, uh, uh, update. I didn't fucking go to Anglesey. What? Um, so <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Did you go to sake. Wales? It went to Wales, yeah. It, oh, okay. go to Wales. it wasn't like we just showed up. I was like, wait, this is fucking Gisbra. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't... <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> I don't know why Gisbra. I'm going to say Grimsby, but I mean, yeah. I mean, either or fucking whichever <laughs> fucking one you want to go for. It's the... No, right. We did We did a big, long drive. It was about a... How long was it? It was a long drive either way. We yeah. set off at nine in the morning. I think we got there at like seven, half seven. We made oh some God. stops. But yeah. we got to, we got to the, the to the nice. I said we're going to be on like a little farm yeah. area and whatnot. And mm-hmm. the plan was going to be going to be at this like little area. And then I'm going to write. I'm just going to spend those days yeah. writing. And then if I need to go for a walk and come back and write, it was going to be all Stephen King esque type of like yeah, getaway yeah. trip. Yeah. That was that, that that was my thought. We got there, me, my mom, and my dad, and uh, there was no uh, there was no like key anywhere i'm like oh, okay because it was just like and you it, were rasping were, for some ketamine <laughs> they were like they were like bu- they were like bungalow based fucking things so right like, okay yeah. okay oh, i can't find a key mm. my dad's trying to call someone mm. and uh that, and we got there again we got there i think it was getting close to eight o'clock at this point and um they were like oh yeah we, we're out of office uh we 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 we're, we are only it, it like a voicemail thing being like oh, oh we're God. in office from nine to five so come back call back us at nine a.m. or whatever like huh, interesting the mm. fucking bungalow that we were meant to be st- that apparently we were meant to be staying in another family went in and walked out my mom was like that's the place we booked and then they went goldfinch which is the name of the fucking bungalow or whatever yeah yeah and they were like yeah it's like oh, no we, and that, apparently long story short we got mm. fucking double booked quite oh, frankly. So, <laughs> shit. So, so at 8 p.m. Mm. on a fucking on a fucking Saturday, oh, we had to try to find somewhere to stay in Wales. So, mm. Dear so, God. So, so it wasn't like we just nipped back home. <laughs> no, no. Everyone oh, in Wales mate, as well. So, so we uh we found a 
on booking.com we found this place called the Grand Hotel not the one in mm-hmm. Hartpool that's currently shut uh, that yeah. place just closed down uh, but like a, another fuck I forgot where it is but it's in a nice little like it looks like a nice little mm. like stuck out of time fucking place in yeah. Wales I forgot not, not as big not as big as the Venti Hotel slightly no, bigger than the no. Tall Hotel <laughs> very good thank you move on god damn it um, what was the what was the place yeah, I had like two L's and then a load of other syllables and whatnot. I can't remember. Um, yeah, but it, it 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 was it was like it's it's the it's the little seasidey town that um the real life Alice went on holiday as an Alice in Wonderland like oh, the, fucking, right, yeah, yeah. the girl the girl that inspired it you know she that was a whole that was a family holiday destination. Mm, okay. So whatever name of that place is in Wales, it's that we, we yeah. went there went to the hotel booked a booked a room. Mm. My dad parked the car. And then he went in to just double check before yeah. we all went in with our fucking uh, luggage and whatnot. Came back to the car, he went, they got no rooms. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It was like, oh, what the fuck? It's getting nine o'clock. Nine oh o'clock at this point. We end up staying at a Premier Inn. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but oh in, my God. In that place. And we end up finding another, we, and then we end up going in another Premier Inn for like the rest of the holiday. So mm. we still did bits and pieces of that my mum wanted to do i didn't get anything written though because jesus christ cause was, so i'm like oh well that was my plan just, just so gone to shit it, so it was, yeah so it wasn't really the yeah it was, it was fine you know we we actually made something out of it and it was uh, decent mm. enough but you know it wasn't you know <laughs> it was yeah. a bit of a sour note of a holiday and then i'm coming back and i'm like oh fuck now and like mm. and the whole in my head i'm like i'm gonna have a break from hartley it's been so long since i've just been away from hartley and yeah. then it was just a stress and then i come back to hartley pool i'm like ah oh, fuck and <laughs> Well, get a, what, one more get day and you've got and you've got a break. I've got Te- I've got a Leeds break. Technically. Te- te- well, te- technically, it's a break, but technically we're also working. So we're, we're also working. We're also we're, we're in the muse. We're in the yeah. muse. Oh um, yeah, man. Fucking and we got we got a race with us as well. Oh, Jesus, I can't wait for him to actually see you flat and realize it, it's not fuck? what he th- what he's oh, probably yeah, thinking. Oh yeah, it doesn't. It's not a fucking studio apartment like he thinks it is. Like I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm not living the high life. It's like, you know, it's like, you know how I suggested in the chat, how I was like, you're probably going to have to end up sharing an air mattress with me, Reese. That's not me wanting him to share an air mattress yeah, with Yeah, no, me. definitely not. I don't want to snuggle with Reese Bruce. Dear in, God. It's a fact of like, Reese, I don't know how, where, which one of the, whatever room you're going to fucking find. So, yeah. but he was like, nah, I'll probably just get a sleeping bag. And am I in my air? Fine, fucking do whatever you want. Yeah, you can get a sleeping bag and sleep on this wooden floor. <laughs> just in a sleeping bag. Good idea, mate. Nice one. I mean, I don't, it's just, oh, yeah. Who invited that guy? Him. Fuck he it, d- he, Yeah, he yeah, he yeah, invited himself. <laughs> Piece of shit. It's going to be me and you. And, yeah. then went, uh, and then he was like, oh, I don't feel like I've done, t- done too much on this film. How about I come up and help you color grade it? Well, that's all fine and dandy, Reese. Yeah, sure. And I just full stop. I don't got no, just that's all fine mm. and dandy, Reese. But also, it's like, it'll be, it'll be a fun, it'll be a fun living sitch. It'll be a, it'll be a laugh. We'll have a good time. Yeah, we will. I've got six. I've got six eggs <laughs> in preparation. <laughs> you know. Oh, I was just, I was, I was just prepping just to be uh, living the takeaway life for the next well, few in days. Ca- if I was case, quite frank, I've got enough eggs in case all six of us want one omelet once. Okay. Have you got bread? No. Oh, I, I can bring a, I can bring a loaf with me if you want. I can guess. Oh wait, no, no. I have got, I've got some frozen bread. Oh well, that's fine. We could have like an eggs, like egg, egg oh. and toast. Oh, perfect. I mean, do you have a, a do you have poached eggs like a fucking weirdo? No, fried. Oh, thank God. <laughs> just gonna say, I was gonna say, Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, just fry an egg and put it on a slice of toast. Yeah, Mwah. yeah, that works. I, I, I like top shit. I've I, even I, got butter. Ah, oh. <laughs> so you know, is it real butter? Uh, no, it's um, that's fine. Flora, but but, but I can't but I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, Whichever, it's that. Whichever yeah. that one is. Is that Utley Butley? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Maybe, hang on, let me check. For the sake of content, give me a second. Yeah, he got his legs out. Hey. And, that, and now the you're, polka dot plane's gone. You're we welcome, you. ladies. <laughs> I hope it's... Um... <laughs> oh, now she's back. I hope Julia doesn't listen to these. <laughs> She'll be getting so jealous of that, man. All, all, the... <laughs> all, the, all the leg that I'm showing off. It's, um, it's Butterlicious by Sainsbury's. 
Oh, I, it's, it's neither of what I thought. You know how I am? Um, and, and don't worry, we will, we will get to the film in a bit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sorry. About uh, I've got uh, half a potato as well. <laughs> Why only a half? Why only half a well, potato? Can I, use, can I use one half, didn't I? What did Jesus. you use the half on? Did you make like a jagged potato or did you do chips and shit? Made some wedges, mate. Ah, air, sick. Air fryer, 25 minutes, 200 degrees. What more could you fucking want? I, um, because my because my mum and dad have went away uh, oh, yeah. this week, so I've been left on my own. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear god! So I so I so I've been uh so I've been make so I've been doing some making some foods for, yeah. for myself. This and uh, what was it? Two days ago, I had a had a chicken curry. Mm-hmm. Um, and by Sweet. made the and by made the food, I took I took the glass Tupperware out the fucking freezer that yeah, my yeah. mum made of the curry, and then I heated the curry. Yeah, that's so, very know, good. So, yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm not I'm not, I'm not claiming to be a chef over how, here. How anyway. does he do it? Uh, and then the next day, which was yesterday. I had a I had a pasta bake, which again I just took the fucking dish out and then yeah. did did all that. Yeah. Today I did actually a bit more cooking. I had a burger and chips. So oh my I, god! So I actually got the burger out of the fridge that my yeah. mum didn't make and yeah. slapped it on the fucking tray with the onions that I cut myself. Oh my uh, god! And then got that in the oven, and then I chopped the potatoes myself oh my to god. make some chips in the air fryer. Look at this so, guy. So I, 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 I actually I actually made a meal today. And I'm I, about that. I'm, I will make you and Reese a burger and chips whilst you're here. Ah, because it's like it's my speciality dish. Ah, amazing! I'm, I'm so good at them. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. Do you remember that photo that I sent you? Or did I even send you it? Of I the burger I that I made. Yeah, I think you did send me it. Yeah, I'll put it in yeah, the group. Yeah. I'll put it in the group chat so you can add it to the podcast. And then Reese could just be like, "What the fuck?" Well, just be. Can, I'll put it in swipe. Taste, so it's fine. Get a taste. Just See, that's yeah. what I mean. Be prepared for something fucking fit. <laughs> if I can find Some... it, you, you can keep talking whilst I try and find this burger. Something now. fit. That's just such like a fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> I won't send the uh, pancakes that I made because that was rough. What was uh This is this is a thing that happened. Um, mm. oh, no, I'll, uh, no, that's that's more of an intermission talk. Oh this yeah. Thing. Uh, I'll, I'll make notes. Hang on a minute. Of like stuff that I want to talk in intermission. So. Did I not save this photo of this burger? It's literally the best thing I've ever made. Dear God. Oh, yeah, I did. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's share it. Uh, Messenger. Swiper. (laughs) Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, there's there's like steam coming off it in the photo as well. It looks fucking unreal. Oh, oh no! That Look is how good, good that uh, looks! Holy that shit! A, yeah, that's a good one. So, do, is it is that like like do you make the burger or is it like you, yeah, you do man. what I just do? Oh, no, do you I, actually I like ma- made the burger myself? Like you get like the mince or whatever the fuck Buy you some do and mince, actually like make a little ball. Oh, ro- that's roll, roll it in salt and pepper. Smush, oh. big big smush into a pan. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so good. Um, I, uh, along with needing to upload this episode on the Friday when I get to you to steal your internet. Yeah, man. Uh, to do it, I also need to send over alone with you to Connor, Ellen, and Aaron. Oh, yeah. It's done. It's, it's festival it's submitted now. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Uh, nice, you have a, yeah, so that's, uh, we had, we had a, we had a battle with audio. Mm. Oh, uh, really? not, not to pull the curtain back too far, but we were, but we filmed in the kitchen. The majority of the films in the kitchen, mm. and we didn't turn the fridge off. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ, Oscar! So me and Lewis were fucking fighting. Lewis yeah. got all the audio and he did his best. He did his best, and then yeah. he sent me the audio. I was like, ah oh, shit! So then in the edit, I was trying to do a lot of blending in, and I mm. edited on DaVinci Resolve. And fuck me, how I is like... that? Uh, it's in. it's fine for smaller things. Okay, but then there's a lot of moments where I'm like, I just wish I had the Premiere commands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like, get that. Like, there's, I think it's because I'm also used to Premiere as well. Be fair, it's like things mm. where I'm like, I just want to do this because I know I can do it in Premiere. Yeah, and I know, and it's it's easier to change the aspect ratio in Premiere. It's easier to export things in the mm. correct resolution in Premiere. But also, I can't deny the coloring is just leaps and bounds superior. Yeah, of course. Da Vinci. It's just, it's just another level, <laughs> quite mm. frankly. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, Da Vinci. I don't, you know, I don't mind editing in Da Vinci for small little things, like okay. little, like, like when I did one minute, I edited mm. that in Da Vinci, and that oh, was okay. fine. 
but I also edited all of Frame by Frame, uh, Joe's films hmm. in Da Vinci, and that was a battle uh, at okay. times. Uh, yeah. And it got and it got a point when I was just editing alone with you in Da Vinci. And I was like, why didn't I just fucking do this in Premiere? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the the audio editing shit, it's mm-hmm. rubbish in Da Vinci as well. Yeah, you can't do as much. Uh, okay. So so it just involved me turning the gain, turning the decibel down, and just mm-hmm. fading in and out. Yeah, to, to just hide the fridge oh, every man. now and then. I'm like, ah, fuck, I can't EQ shit. I can't like, do- I've got, yeah, I've been editing the muse in, in Avid. Yeah. Media Composer. What a beautiful bit of software. For I mean, some things. <laughs> for, oh, what what a great bit of software for putting one clip after another. If you want right, to yeah, any- yeah. do anything else, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. I love about Media Composer, it doesn't assume anything. If you, if you tell it to do something, it's going to do exactly what you tell it to do. It's not going to go, I think you mean this, like Premiere does, and like it helps you out sometimes. Avid goes, you told me to do this. It's not my fault I did it wrong. Fuck you. And you're like, what do you no, mean? Like, what, what, what's an example of Premiere? I'm not sure what you mean. Like Premiere, it kind of understands where you want to put a clip yeah. or whatever. And like Avid will go. So if say if you're like, I want to move this clip here. And you're slowly moving it along, and the, and Premiere will just do it, and it'll Locks. Kind of, it's, it'll snap to something, or if you yeah. you know, whereas Avid's like setting in an out point, and it better be exact, or fuck you, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're like, yeah, I'm like, Ugh. but I love it. <laughs> and again, I repeat, we will get at the film, but literally, yeah, sorry, yeah, I say this, but I, I but but I, it, I I fucking like one thing I've realized: the complaints that people have on Premiere, mm. I have never had them. Yeah. But what apparently everyone loves about Da Vinci and Avid, mm. I've had the problems that people have had with Premiere on, yeah. da, Vin- on da Vinci and Avid. Like, yeah, yeah. like when people go, Premiere crashes all the time. My only experience with Avid is it crashed. Yeah. The only experience yeah, is yeah. that fucking thing crashing. So I also, we also used the uni computers. That was the only time I've used Didn't Avid. Help. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I only got, I got so far and then the whole system just fucking went. I went, yeah. I can't edit anything. Whereas like Premiere never had a crash on Premiere. Yeah. Never, never in my life. And Da Vinci is such a laggy thing. Mm. It's so like like I hit play and then it goes to like six frames a second for a bit and then it yeah, goes in yeah. the audio goes mono through the left and then stereo and then it's it's just lagging. I'm like, fuck, I hit play, just play the fucking thing. Yeah. Whereas like well, Premiere, I... I'm like, bat, 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 play, uh, so I, uh... I have used Da Vinci for the muse. Okay. Oh. I, so I what what I've done is I brought them into Resolve, and then named them, did all that shit, synced them all in Resolve, and right. exported them from Resolve. And you can so it's as like proxies that I can use to edit with. Understood. So, but um, what's good in Resolve is this is getting really fucking nerdy for a second. So apologies, but post production people might find this interesting. In in Resolve, when you export, you can bake stuff into the metadata. So you can bake in the original source name of the clip, not from what you've renamed it, but from what what it originally was. So that when I then export an AF, give it to Reese, and he has to relink all the footage, he can just relink it to the original footage. It takes off all the LUTs that I've put on, uh, and it'll be all fucking perfect and hunky dory, and it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be the easiest linking process in the world. And he's cool. Gonna, he's gonna love it. The big, cool. big, big gangly bitch. Well, we'll find out. I need, we'll I, need, I, need, I, need, I need, I need to put DaVinci on my laptop actually, but it's, it's easy enough to do. It's a free oh, fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, it's free. Um, man. It's great. And uh, should we should we man- maneuver into the episode? Oh yeah, fuck it, sure. And before <laughs> we get on talking about the film, um, again, as usual, mm-hmm. time goes in the description so you can see. If you're like fucking hell, they're talking about editing for too long. You can just like see. <laughs> You can see when we're actually talking about the film, if you really wanted to. Yeah, man. Uh, there's that and all that stuff. That's in the description. And obviously, YouTube makes chapter marks as well. So there you go. Uh, also in the description is the Twitters and the letterbox. Not Twitters. Fuck me. Why did I do that again? You do it every time. What's wrong with you? Come we on, ne- man. We- Fuck sake. The Instagram and the letterbox. Um, yes. For, for us and the intermission... Itself, that's where uh, we, the intermission doesn't have a letterboxed. Uh, we we both have a letterboxed, uh, and yes. the intermission has an in, and we both have an Instagram, as does the intermission, uh, where you can find out that's when we uh, updates about when and what we're talking about and all that mm. jazz. Um, 
no, we won't have a TikTok. No, we're not going to have a Threads. And there's a full stop on that. Yeah. No one's maybe, asked. By, by maybe, I'll, maybe we should make a TikTok. I'm not in charge of it. I don't want to be. And yeah. I'll, do, I'll do some funny little dances. Or maybe I'll do one of them streams where they just make noise and apparently make fucking thousands of pounds. <laughs> I don't know what that's... I don't understand that. That's my first, like... Am I too old for this? What's going on? Because I, right. I, I do not understand how that works. It's like Joe wanted me to do a... He wanted me to do an R&Q TikTok to promote Love Bethany. Because yeah. he was like, we could, like, really, like, hit with the... Uh, if we do some, like... F- like edits of La Bethany, that's mm. very edgy. We could maybe hit like a certain like demographic, you know, like the fucking like Ryan Gosling literary me, yeah, yeah. Patrick Bateman. It's like mm. if we just do that with La Bethany, we can maybe hit an audience. And when I'm not fucking doing it, I don't <laughs> want that. Like I went to him, Joe. If you want to make an R and Q TikTok, do it. I don't. I do, well, I don't not, want. Yeah, but no, I can't be asked. <laughs> yeah, no. If someone, that, wa- if someone wants to make an intermission fan account, sure. Oh, that'll be amazing, actually. But, uh, but, I, want, uh, but I want no involvement <laughs> whatsoever. I mean, on my end, I do enough. Yeah. I, d- I, d- I don't need yeah. a more. I don't need more intermission things no, to exactly. keep hold of. I do the YouTube channel and the Instagram. Yeah. I'm behind on the podcast as well. Fuck yeah. me. So that's, that tells you everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also in the description, as always, mental health links are in there. Uh, always, always heavily promote it. Um, oh, yeah. Never, 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 irre- never an irrelevant time for it to be discussed. Hell so, yeah, if you or anyone uh, that you, uh, any of your loved ones, are uh, in a struggle with your mental with mental health, links in the description uh, to be the first step towards that all. And I like to just keep reminding people: you have survived your worst days. Just keep that in mind. You have survived your worst days. And with that, Robbie, should we maneuver into the um, this oh, film yeah. for this oh, yeah. for this for this week? Um, and this film that we're talking about, Robbie, mm-hmm. uh, for episode fifty-three of the intermission, is the nineteen eighty-five World War Two film. Come and see. Uh, the film was directed by Elam Klimov, written by Elam Klimov and um, Eles Adamovich. Uh, Adamovich, I believe this is based off uh, his actual experience in the Belarusian era because he was a teenager during uh-huh. this time. And that's like, it's, it's semi autobiographical in that regard for um, Adamovich. The film stars Alexei Kravchenko. Krav- Krav- Kravchenko. I believe is the pronunciation, and no. Olga Miranova. Uh, and the plot stops of the film corner IMDb is, after firing an old rifle, a young boy joins the Soviet resistance movement against ruthless German forces and experiences the horrors of World War II. Actually, as the film holds, as a 90% on the tomato meter and an audience score of 95% on Rotten Tomatoes. It holds an 8.4 out of 10 on IMDb, placing at number 91 in their top 250 films of all time. It has a 4.7 out of 5 stars on Letterboxd, placing at number 2 in their top 250 films of all time. And it also holds a place at being number 104 in the BFI Sight and Sound Greatest Films of All Time list, uh, tied with Le Maman et la Poutine, Jaws, and The Godfather 2. So... Come and see. I was, uh, this is my second time watching this film. Uh, I was first made aware of this film, uh, mainly mainly by le- letterboxed community-based things. I remember it was one of these films where, like, I remember, like, when I was just looking through, like, the letterbox top, top 250, that was one of the ones that was, like, it was, like, in the top 20. I think it might have just been in the top 10 or something. And I was like, oh, I've never seen it. I've never even heard of that one before. Okay, so it's a really high rated one okay cool i need i need to keep that in mind whenever i can actually get hold of that fucking thing and then it was one of these ones where it was just it was gradually getting more and more attention within letterboxd and stuff and it got even more attention when criterion picked it up Mm. for a release so that it became more accessible for like because i think before criterion the only way you could have watched it was like on a fucking like shitty quality dvd Right, that was like yeah. that was it was it was one of those ones that was like it was so like li- it was so like practically impossible to find type of thing, mm. and then Criterion released it so American audiences more it was it became more accessible, started going up the ranks, 
in Letterboxd, eventually at one point being the highest rated film on the site um, until Across the Spider-Verse came out. And then Letterboxd redid the algorithm mm. uh, because they realized people were just spamming new films and it was becoming a bit like the IMDb Top 250 mm. where just the newest film was just getting the highest rated. So yeah. it got re... I think Across the Spider-Verse still sits in the top 10, though, I think. I think it is. I think it is number 10, for, actually. For some reason. For, I'll check still, that now. It's still really highly rated on there, but now Harry Carey's the highest rated film on Letterboxd, come yeah. see being the second. And I eventually ended up watching this film, I think just after it reached number one on the Letterboxd. Top mm-hmm. 250, because I discovered it was on uh, it was on the Moss Film YouTube channel, which I discovered that YouTube channel thanks to... It, it was one of the subreddits. It's, it was either the Criterion subreddit or the Letterbox subreddit that shared that link. And I didn't even realize that was even a website that uploaded a lot of, like, Soviet-based films just on there for free. So yeah. that's actually a godsend, because there's also a few Tarkovsky films I need to get to. Uh, so I... Stuck that on, and and obviously, and now watching this once, and now second time, it's a film that I mean, we'll get. I mean, we'll obviously we'll talk about it, uh, but in more detail, it's a it's a heavy film, uh, but it's a film that like upon and especially upon a second watch, I I fucking think it's one of the best war films I've seen. It's it's up there for me in terms of like, um. Especially even the ones that we've talked about on this channel, like I, I would put it like up there amongst the likes of Apocalypse Now or or the original or Quite on the Western Front for me personally. Uh, Robbie, you and you this film? Uh, I'd never seen this, never heard of it, ever until you put said that we're watching it. Um, so this was me watching it for the first time, literally knowing nothing about it. Um, all, all you'd said was that it was a war film. Mm-hmm. I, I, I. I literally had nothing going into this. Um, I remember you also asked me and being like, wait, when did this come out? And when it's 985, I went, oh, I thought it was going to be older. Thank fuck. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did think it was going to be older. Um, and I think, like, the... I think the age of it is an interesting thing, actually, that I'd like to talk about at some point on this episode. Um, overall? <sighs> nah. Nah. I'm good, man. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. No, ta. Too much, man. <laughs> Jesus. I just, uh, yeah. It was so like I don't know. It felt to me. Here's my like general thing with it. Yeah. Uh, it was less content with telling an actual story about yes, yeah. a- about actual characters as opposed to just showing you awful heinous shit. It's because, showing you the war. It's showing you the war because right? isn't isn't war bad? And I go, yeah, I know. <laughs> and you gonna tell me anything? You gonna do a good story? Nah. Now nah, his his people bend into death. Oh, okay, cool, sick. Anyway, buckle in. Yeah. Two hours twenty minutes. <laughs> it's like fuck. I, oh, I, didn't, I also did, but to be fair, I didn't feel the length of it. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I, did. I didn't. I didn't feel it was a long film, even second yeah. time, like first time and second time round. <laughs> it was like, oh fuck, it's you know. I think it's a slow start, but I think once yeah. we actually get onto it, like once he's off with the Parsons mm-hmm. and all that, so yeah. Well, I, I think. I, well, I think I, there's. I, there's a portion of it that I could lose. I think right. w- once he gets back to the village and then he's doing, he's like going on little adventures with people that he finds after what he discovers in the village happens. And he goes to those people and then they, they're like going off and they're getting that cow and, and all that stuff. Oh, and then, yeah, and then yeah, he ends yeah, up yeah. in a different village and then all that, all that stuff. I'm like that whole portion just, I don't need that. Like no, I can, yeah, I, I can understand that. I can understand that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'll start this off uh, with a bit of, I, I guess, trivia-based shit. Because mm. <laughs> uh, it's more stuff I find interesting about the film and the making of it. Uh, this is, um, obviously, I, don't, I, I never even heard of the, obviously, the certain filmmakers you hear of yeah. within with, when you're getting into film mm. and all that. Even if you've never seen one of their films, like example, I'm sure you've at least heard, like I'm sure you know the name uh, Ingmar Bergman. Yeah, probably. yeah, I know the name. Or like, or like Federico Fellini. Yeah, like, yeah, or like I've never heard like, of that guy. Sorry, not that. I... Fellini, Fellini. You ever heard of Fellini? Nah. No. Have you no. heard the film La Dolce, La Dolce Vita? I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's his film. Um, okay. He also did the film Eight and a Half. Oh. Um. Uh. But but um. Have you heard of Andre Tarkovsky? Yeah. 
Yeah, so you know, there's there's names yeah. that people hear of, and uh, and uh, e- Elam Klimov was not one of those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me, to be to be honest, but uh, yeah, apparently he is quite. A, he was he was a renowned uh, Russian filmmaker. Mm. Um, and what I find interesting, the thing is, I knew of a film called The Ascent, which came out in 1977, yeah. which I need to rewatch actually because I watched it like during like the midst of production two. Okay. When I was tired every day, yeah, and that's and that is a film from 1977, and it's a another really heavy Soviet war film. Okay, and <laughs> uh, and and the related part, so I need to give that film another go, because um, I think I had to pause it a nap because I was just, yeah, I was just, like, I'm sharp, just. <laughs> But to be fair, like any, like, I, I had to do that with Snatch during that time as well. Yeah, so there, yeah. there, there's the examples. It didn't matter what film it was. I was, I was falling asleep. Yeah. Um. Any time during that time. Uh. But I um. But the reason why I bring up the Ascent is because that is from a. I forgot the name of the director, but she was Elam Klimov's wife. Oh, okay. Uh, and I know the story in terms of. So there's a link there. I know that much. I also know that Elam Klimov wanted to make this film within like the seventies and all that before then. And I think it was like, it was a multitude of things that pushed him that mm. delayed this film and examples of being like, I think one, it, there wasn't necessary. They weren't they the funding wasn't there for him for that film at that point. Um, his wife died in a car accident. Not oh, long Jesus. after, not long after mm. the ascent, apparently I think, or like it was, it was after the ascent was done. So the ascent being a final film, mm-hmm. and it was, and she had just had like a funding grant to make another film uh, okay. that she could get made. So then he took over that film, doing that. So then come and see was kind of like exited from his head, mm. type of thing. And then it got to a point where I think I can't remember the specifics. The YouTube channel, the Kino Corner, or he did a video on come and see, and he has a lot more okay, information. Cool. He has a lot more information on this side of it all about that so i'm paraphrasing if anyone's actually genuinely interested in more of like the backstory and the making of come and see watch the kino corners video on it uh but it it was like a i think some sort of like anniversary of the military or something like Mm. that and they wanted to they wanted that film to be brought back and like do that and they specifically wanted elon clean to do the film Mm -hmm. um and another little thing for the little thing about this film is that the original title for the longest time was called kill hitler that was the name of the film was called right. kill hitler and it got to the point where they were like yeah, we can't we can't call it that it can't we can't call the film kill hitler and then apparently elam klimov i think either called he called i, I think it was his brother again keenan mm. corner recounted the story quite well but he called his brother being like all right we need a new title for the film mm-hmm. uh can you think of anything and then his brother was like how long do you have? How long do we have to like think of one? Yeah. And then he went, 20 minutes. I'm on the way to the office now to fucking tell <laughs> oh, them the shit. name of the film. So we're fucking need to think of one right now. And he like, he took like, a, he went to his favorite passage of the Bible or whatever. Mm. And there's a specific thing. I can't, that, come and see as an excerpt from that. Uh, so that's okay. like, so that's where the tile comes from. And mm. also another like little thing that I actually think is really neat and actually plays quite well with the film is the film was shot chronologically. Okay. Uh, it was it was it was a chronologically sh- chronology shot film. Uh, the both both the actors, um, both of the child actors, teenage actors. Mm. I'll say I don't they weren't necessarily children, but they weren't they weren't adults either. Yeah. Um, Alexei and Olga, uh, both had never acted before, so they're both two. They, were, Alexei would go on to be an actor. Olga didn't. Okay. She just did one and done. I was like, yeah, yeah okay, I'd rather not. Do, I, I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm rather not. They're both um, great in this. Yeah, they're yeah, both, they're uh, both really great. And but what's interesting is that obviously the uh, Elam Klimov did it in chronological order. Um, over nine months, this film was shot. Oh, okay. Um, and I think it was more. And he thought, from his point of view, in the sense, like since again, non-actors, hmm. they will be able to understand the emotion easier if yeah. we just do it chronologically, hmm. as opposed to like right now we're doing this and now we're yeah. doing this, like ET. So was E.T. chronological? It's how, it's how Spielberg did E.T., yeah, because of the kid actors. Right. They thought they'd understand was, it more if they just shot it in order. Right. I mean, fair. Yeah. But, what, but what I also think works well for that technique for Come and See mm. is, considering it was a nine-month shot film, uh, it was shot over nine months. Obviously, there was makeup done to um, Alexei as well. Uh, but 
you could, but he would have gotten older. Yeah. In that nine months. And obviously it's a, it's a cool little, in my head, it's a cool little thing where it's like, oh yeah, it's like the example of like how the fucking war ages. Yeah. People. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, and, and obviously Alexi didn't fucking look like this. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, he did, you know, he did, you know, he had makeup done to him and shit like that. Like I saw one it, report it where it was like, like this. He didn't look like that. No, no, no. <laughs> But it's like I saw one report, like one trivia thing, where it's like the stress is so heavy. He actually is his hair grayed. He he got grayed wow. hair. The actual thing was, it, they they dyed his hair gray, yeah. but the dye they used just stayed in his hair for so many years because it was so like so he didn't turn gray. He he, he did yeah. fucking lose. He did gain his actual hair color back and whatnot. But yeah, Jesus Christ. So yeah, that that, that that's one thing with this film. So yeah, um, yeah, we we'll, we'll talk about um. I guess, I guess the, I guess the, uh, the lead, the two, I guess, it's, yeah. di- it's difficult to call them two leads because it, it is just, uh, it's him Floyd. mostly. Yeah yeah. 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 And obviously there's a, uh, oh, what's her name? I forgot her name. I don't know. Um, I have absolutely no idea. I'm afraid. Uh, it's not Gloria. No, it's, but it's um, something like that. It starts with a C, doesn't it? Glasher. Glasher. There you go. Is it? But yeah, um. Yeah, and and, of, and, of, and another thing I want to point out was like I also know like mm. it's it's what what I think's quite again it's a heavy fucking film and it's always yes. like and it and it's on a lot of like letterbox lists like the, one of my favorite letterbox lists where mm. it, it lists um the world is hell hopeless cinema <laughs> oh Jesus Christ <laughs> and, I was, and, I, and every now and then I go to that list and go like what mm. what am I in the mood for today and it's like yeah. and it's 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 shit like where it's like wrecking for dreams in that list and um yeah. fucking um shame the one with Michael Fassbender mm. do you know of that yeah. one yeah, I know of it. I've not seen yeah. it. I've heard things. Should I bring that over on for, for oh, the weekend? No, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, good, good film that. Uh, but obviously, come and see is also within that mm. list of what. No, and I, and obviously, I think, and I mean, we can talk more about that type of place within cinema. I do think there is a there is a place for um, shock cinema. It doesn't feel right to call it that because mm. I don't think anything in this film's done to shock is such because mm. to, to, to me like shocks more in a way of being like um get trying to get a reaction that's more like oh that's disgusting where that, that to me that's shock cinema whereas like to me this is more mm. like it's more of like a oh fucking god like it's more like it it sets more of an emotional tone as opposed to a reactional tone See, if you know what i mean i i don't agree with that at all <laughs> do, do, do you think everything so, in the, do you, do so you think much of this to me feels like reactional like that like linger on you know when that guy's been like burnt or whatever and he's talking to flora and he's like yeah, his, on the floor. His, his uncle yeah. yeah yeah and he's just like it the shot just holds on him the whole time his skin's all fucking gross and it's like could do that as a shot reverse shot make it less awful but they don't yeah yeah but i don't feel like it's i feel like mo- a moment like that is not like if it was shock it would it would be more like we would see him burning do you yeah, know what i mean but like, then we do but well, well, then we get that as well yeah but no but we also <laughs> don't <laughs> see church. people burn but that's yeah yeah, yeah don't, you don't, don't actually... physically see anyone burning yeah like it might like it would have it would have tricked tripped over in the shock territory if yeah. we would have seen a mother with a baby on fire yeah. fucking but also we see bullet. that we see that kid get like lobbed in through the window and we then see a kid. and then yeah, and the then when and then fire, when the but... church is burning you like you see the door moving because people are banging against the door so you know people are in there yeah by but, uh, but i feel like that's what's just setting an atmosphere and that's more like oh, executing Jesus. a moment that's what execute an emotional tone as opposed to, like in my opinion Lars von Trier, I, I like a few Lars von Trier stuff mm. but in my opinion Lars von Trier dealt in the shock territory like i i like i reminded myself of antichrist for some reason mm. you know, I don't mind right. the film, but it's but it's like it, but it, it was more of a thing. Like I just like remember when I showed you and Reese like the list that I made to like like when I messaged Lewis and Gary and be like, this is a fucking thing. This is everything that happened in this film, and that's yeah, a film yeah. where that's a film where Charlotte Gainsborough smashes William Defoe's dick and then wanks yeah. him off and then he jizzes blood. That's in that film. It's and not that, ideal. And to, me, that, <laughs> and to me, that shock. That's a shock. Yeah. I thought thing. I was so concerned that you were going to say cinema then. And to me, and to that's, me, that's cinema. <laughs> and to me, that's cinema. 
No, to me that's that that shock that that yeah. that, le- that leans into the shock thing. Where it's mm. like I think this like again no, I can see what you mean. It's it's like yeah we're watching a bu- we, we're looking at a burnt fucking body yeah and whatnot and we're and we're seeing like the the church fire and stuff. But mm. I also feel like that's more of like it feels more like look at what happened yeah as opposed but to, I, uh, but like, I, I don't know to to me I would have it I would say more of. It leans more into shock for me because there's nothing else there in the way of substance. Okay. There's that like there's no story. Nobody learns anything. It's just. I don't. It, I don't it, know about learning. I don't. I don't, I, I, I don't know. It just. It's like I. I know. I yes. Okay. Maybe Flora learns something by the end. I guess. In that war is bad. Yeah. 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 We and. I, I I have the same sort of thing with this as as Julia had when we went to see Oppenheimer the other week. Right. When, <laughs> right. Okay. When we went to see Oppenheimer, she said to me afterwards, she she didn't like it that much. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she said um, it was well made and everything, but like ten minutes in, I understood that what they were trying to say was the nuclear bombs are bad. And in my mm. and in her head, she was going, "Yeah, I know, but what else?" And then she was like, yeah. I, "And that was just the movie." <laughs> but then for, I feel the same for this. It's just, isn't war awful? And I go, yeah. But are you going to like do anything with that? <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I <laughs> think, or is it just um, look at these horrible things? I think it's, it, it, I think to me, because obviously we've talked, of, uh, I mean, some of my favorite episodes and some of my favorite films that we've discussed on this mm. Uh, throughout the podcast have actually been war films, weirdly enough. I, I, again, we've talked, again, I think, again, people go back and listen to our um all quiet on the western for an episode that's mm-hmm. actually a film that it's a film that i really liked i think that's a really good conversation yeah as well within that uh but i don't think i've seen like again and we we talked about anti-war films we talked again apocalypse now um all quiet on the western front mm. and whatnot but i don't think i've seen or felt like i don't think i've like this is the only like anti-war film that i feel is actually like giving me that really guttural feeling of like ah fuck mm. you know, like, like 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 i think like again other examples as i've said i think if we go and i'm not saying like one's necessarily better than the other it's i think both of them do in very good ways yeah uh, but if we take all on the western front just as like a also all on the western front came out like 55 years earlier yeah. so you know what i mean it's it, it's diff- di- different things all around within yeah. that although there is quite intense stuff in that film as well you know yeah. it's like the, hand, the hands on the fence oh, yeah, it's it, pretty, yeah. a, you know, there's, there's some moments where it's like fuck that's like yeah <laughs> that's like rough i think like both of those you see what i think both of those like the, but i mean i think both of them actually do really good things in the sense of like it's putting the main character in the situation mm. when before the situation it's very much more so they're like yeah fuck yeah war i mm. want to fucking do that you know and all kind the western front they want to be heroes for the country yeah. and come and, and come and see he just he wanted to be a soldier he wanted to find a rifle he wanted mm. to go off and fight and all that um uh, and in all quiet and the the examples of things that we see um him and all quiet do you know there's the moments of just like uh where we gradually see like they see what you know. One of his friends, his fucking legs are gone, mm. and then soon after, his friends dies, and you know he's he's put in that situation. It's another situation that he's put into where he has to try and fend off a guy. He ends up killing the guy, but he ends up like sitting with the guy. Mm. And you know, it, it, there's a lot of great moments in, and I and I always and I was saying this to some to people a few weeks ago. Like I encourage people to watch the original. Yeah. more so than the new one because obviously everyone's going because the new one's on netflix and everyone's like yeah, yeah. fuck it, it's really good i'm like you've actually missed a lot <laughs> yeah from from what's actually really good and weirdly enough the new one's half an hour longer just mm. saying so it's a real lion go, king go, situation it, weirdly enough I, uh, I haven't seen the new one yet actually i mean it's worth a watch but yeah. i mean it's one of these ones where like i watched it remember thinking myself oh wow yeah that was good but mm. then i thought it didn't really do anything else that the old one didn't but it also did less as well mm. like that's why i like it was weirdly enough in that regard and i think like to me i think i also do think come and see does all of that but it does it in a way but it does it with 
the newer mentality of that. Whereas, yeah. like, obviously in 1930s, seeing a man getting blown up and his hands are just there or just seeing a soldier with his legs gone and being mm. terrified and then just dying. And then, I mean, there's that there's that one great scene in All Quiet where um, he's walking with his mate. When he goes back to war and he's walking with his mate, the eyes and seen in a while, bomb drops. Mm. Guy ends up dying. He doesn't realize the guy's died. So he goes, oh, well, I'll carry you back. Yeah. Is he's you know he's been knocked out whatever no he's died you know like fucking hor- horrifying mm. like gut punching moment and I feel like come and see kind of does a lot of that granted again I don't think it necessarily has the emotional character mm. points but it utilizes the uh, the techniques of that time period to yeah. do that yeah. it's like, okay if we just simply show someone die that. Flora knows we're not going to get that effect because we mm. are we're all sensitized to that. This is a post fucking. We're in the mid eighties, you know. Yeah. We've had, we had, we had, we've we've had the seventies cinema where we saw you know we've had all sorts of that. death. Death on film isn't shocking or devastating. Yeah. What can we do? Show a man burnt because yeah. that is something that did happen and that will cause a fucking hell or like what else mm. can we do? This to me that's where that is with it personally where i see what you mean in the sense of like it's just moments of war yeah i'm like i don't know what else it could have been to convey Um, that my my the only thing i could think of and i y'all i don't know how you feel about this movie so you might um you might hate this as a point um when you say you don't know what else it could have done um it could have just been jojo rabbit because it's the same movie. I mean, I, I like Jojo Rabbit. I do Good. like Jojo Rabbit. Because Flora and Jojo have the same arc. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, okay. a, a, exactly the same arc. But Jojo Rabbit does it in a way that is still entertaining to watch, still tells a story. It's emotional. You care about the characters. It has heart. And it's it doesn't just make you feel like shit for two and a half hours. And it's shorter. And in my opinion, more effective. No, that's fair. I think you know. I, I think I think both of them are two different types of things, though. Personally. Yeah, they're two different types of movies, but I just think I I, I just prefer the approach of Jojo. I mean, that's fair. I mean, that is fair. I I think that um, uh, I mean, I can get the uh, we, we we can talk about the performance and stuff a bit later. Yeah. We, I, I'm enjoying just talking about the meat of the film at the minute. Mm. Actually, uh, what I actually think this film. Because again, I used, I said like obviously, all quiet has character, and we're following a character, yeah. and we're latching yeah, yeah. on the character. This film, come and see. I don't think it's like a faceless uh, film, because mm. I again, I do think the character of Flora is act. There, there is something there at least. I, I do, th- I do mm. think there's. I, 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 I'm not seeing a blank slate. Is is all I'm yeah. saying. It's it's not like I'm watching Dune. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, well, but, yeah. But, yeah, but yeah. It's like I, I'm 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 actually seeing and like I'm seeing like and like him and um ah I've j- just looked at her name, Glasher or something like that. Yes, Glasher. Yes. Nice. So, Fuck yeah. So, I'm good. <laughs> so I'm, I'm seeing those and you know all that stuff. Mm. Um, I think that but what I think this film does really well to me personally is it plays the um. You know, it's going to be a weird analogy. You know, mm. when you play a video game and the protagonist is the perfect amount of the, it's not too much of its own thing to where you don't feel like your yes. choices matter, but it's also not faceless enough to where you can still. Yeah, like, I, get I, you. I can't, I can't think of an exact example, but you know what I mean? Where it's like, yes. the, like a video game protagonist can have one or two ways. It's either like sometimes. Well, it's, it can have multiple things. It, like one of three examples, I think. It can either be mm. too much of a character to where you're like, well, I'm just con- well, I'm just an avatar. I'm the avatar through this yeah, yeah. thing. Or it could be a thing where it's like, there's nothing to this and I'm just... I'm just, fucking- yeah. And, uh, like, or like, like Portal, for example. Yeah. Where it's like, where it's like I mean, Port- Portal's a great game. It's one of my favorites. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, ch- well, Chell's it's just- not... Yeah. Yeah, whereas like I, th- or, or you could have like this middle point where it's like the character is enough of a character to where you're seeing the that character making the progression mm. in the story beats, uh, 
and it's making sense that that's a character doing that where but it's enough of but it's not giving you too much to where you can still feel like you're going yes. through you're you're being that character you're making those decisions and stuff. Yeah, yeah um and i would say that's kind of the feeling that i get with come and see that's the feeling that i got in the sense of like mm. where it's more so like i'm not seeing floor as a faceless like just an excuse for us to look at somewhere pretty or an excuse mm. for us to see a war scene yeah um for example i like, I like paul and dune i will say paul and dune is just is mm. just like oh th- is this just an excuse for timothy charlotte to look moody and so for us to, and for and for us to see big sands mm. big sand things uh, but but neither is he someone like the Karen or quite the West from when we're actually watching someone going yeah. through things. I think, um, and I think the exa- and I think a very good way of how this film does it is in terms of the actual technical side of the filmmaking things. This film, it, it does a lot of what I like to call portrait cinematography, mm. where it's a lot of where. Um, and it's shit that I like. It's the it's it, the, the, to be fair. I would say like in my opinion, this is like a, a flawlessly made film. Like I get like like in terms of on like the technical point of view, how it was made, how it's shot, edited, fucking mm. like the actual production side of things. It's yeah. fucking just flawless. I I can't. It's one of those examples of like this is just one of the like a perfectly made film. Yeah. Um, preference doesn't yeah i mean i'm I'm not like you know there's some shots in this that i'm not 100 sold on but i do agree that it is pretty flawlessly made like you know from a production standpoint but that's all that's down to personal taste of and you know and and it and there is a lot of things where it's like again i'm sure we we both have shots where like fuck yeah and for me there's so many others fuck yeah shots for me Mm. in this film and it only really i only clocked onto it when watching it the second time i think that's why i and I think that's why I don't feel the length of this film because there's so much of this film where I'm like, fuck yeah, I love that. Mm. Fuck yeah, I love how that's done. Fucking yeah. hell, that's great. And um, and I think how this film does that in the way, as I said, about like kind of like a, uh, a the perfect video game protagonist character type of way of storytelling mm. is the fact of like, there's just... The, the, there's a majority of this film that's just a character looking down at the barrel of the yeah, camera yeah. lens and just looking at it and it's not there's no over the shoulders like when mm. we're seeing dialogue it's like we cut for someone looking at the camera to then another person looking at the camera or sometimes it's not even necessary dialogue it's just we just cut to a scene and mm. then cut to that person looking at the thing yeah, yeah and to me that's where that's like it's the link because again i mean fuck it like you're actually seeing to me it's like yes was if all this film was like we're just seeing the horrors of war it could mm. get exhausting yeah i th- I think if all i think if we just saw again burnt corpses or if we just saw fucking people getting gunned down or whatever it'd mm. be like fucking hell i get it that that's to me that's when that would have been i fucking yeah. get it but that's but what like, it, that's what it is to me <laughs> but, to me, but to me but to me it breaks yeah. it but that, that gets broken down where we cut to a close-up on flora and mm. seeing his reaction to it and to me i don't need to hear him say his feelings i yeah. don't need to hear him go oh or like i don't need to hear him go to glasher isn't war just the worst it's like i can get all that emotion and all that feeling from just a shot of seeing Alexi's performance mm. of just whatever he's going through in his eyes. Yeah. And whatnot. And to me, and I and to me, that's like all I need in terms of a filmmaking point of view. And I think that's where like and I understand what you mean in the sense of like, where's the story? Because yeah, yeah, there is it's it's very thin. It's a very bare bones like narrative yeah. in the sense of like boy goes to war, boy has bad time in war, boy realizes war bad. Yeah. I, that's kind of the narrative. Yeah. quite frankly but to me it's 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 like well how are you showing me war's bad and how are you showing me that boy is realizing war bad mm. and i mean i think like that choice in terms of like just just get a fucking nice close-up get a shallow depth of field get just fucking so just single in on fucking flora see mm. what he's like move on yeah but I, yeah but then for me like you get you get those moments that sure, it's fine. Mm. And uh, but the narrative being, 
boy wants to go to war, boy goes war, boy has bad time, boy is like war bad actually. That being the narrative, I think he finds out war bad. It, may, it comes to that realization pretty quick. No, it is. It is. It it's is like quite... the, it's like the first twenty minutes. Those shells go off, and he's like, "Oh no!" And it's like, "Okay, it, well, I'm trying." Re- it's it's when he it's when he deviates from them, and the bombs drop. It, That's yeah. the first. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Which is like pretty early. Do- it's literally like the first time he leaves the camp. The first time they're going to leave the camp to do anything is when he gets like separated, and then he realizes everything's awful. And it's like twenty minutes in. And then, like, that's it. He's done the arc now. And now I've just got to sit and watch horrible shit for the next two hours. But I feel like I would have been so done, like, if we just prolonged that. Like, yeah. Like, I, I, no, and I get but what, what, but what I'm saying is this doesn't need to be a feature film. <laughs> that's what I mean, I'm, I disagree. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. It could have been a short. He could have gone to war. Go, oh, no, this is bad, actually. I want to go back to my mum my mom and my family. Gets back, they're all dead. Oh no, cautionary tale. <laughs> Fifteen minutes done. Get out the door. Good me. I, <laughs> Sick I mean, of it. I, I mean, I mean, I mean. Hey, Robbie, let's keep that in mind for whenever we need. When, if we ever want to pitch a fucking fifteen-minute yeah, war there film, go, there you go. Fucking, that's, done. That's, that's, that's Ca- cautionary do. tale. I really want to go to war. All right, you go then. Goes <laughs> comes back. Mum's dead. Shouldn't have left, should you? But I Dick feel dead. like. Again, I don't know. To me, to, again, to me, there's so many. Again, it's like it's what I realized when I watched this, when I rewatched this again. Where there's so like this film when I watched this for the first time, a bit less than a year ago, actually. I mean, mm. fucking hell, it's, it is actually quite too soon for me to do a rewatch. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, dear God, you're all right. All, but like when the film, fucking when I first watched the film, like it was like it, it just like there's moments where it just didn't, I, it didn't leave my head. Mm. Like I can t- like there's like I can tell you like, and I think that's where I always like think like, well. Is a film good? How do I judge that? Is anything sticking with me? And if yeah. I'm, and I mean, fucking hell, like I, I walked out of Ant Man two, and I was forgetting stuff when I exited the screen. Not the cinema. I walked out of the fucking <laughs> screen. I'm like, it's it's gone. I'm like, the, the film's gone not, from my do not, brain. Do you not remember that big ant playing the drums? <laughs> oh yeah, that was the after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Whereas, like, <laughs> whereas, like, for so, but this film. Like uh, with with come and see, like I just it just didn't leave my head, and not in a way of like I'm so fucked up now from watching that. I rarely yeah. get that with films. I, I've seen, I've it's one of these. You know, some people have everyone has their vices, right? You know, yeah. like some you know I I I have I have like you know like and I I have like fucked up films. That, mm. That's where it is for me. There's a reason why I love the Saw films. That's fucking baby shit. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Saw's baby shit now. You, Jesus. You, you remember how I was like, oh yeah, I was. Just, I finally had time to wind down and watch a film for the first time in so long. Mm. Music wrapped. I don't need to do anything for a bit. Huh? I'll stick on Requiem for a Dream. Like that's yeah. just what I did. You're a strange, strange boy. I don't <laughs> I know what's neither, wrong with you. And, uh, neither do I. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's not for this conversation. Oh, that's, for another, that's for another conversation I've yet to have. Um, oh dear God. With, a, with a human being that's currently not in, in my life. Um, oh no. <laughs> um, I don't even know what that meant. Uh, no, 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 neither do I, and I'm scared. Uh, that was just words. I didn't even. That was just fucking. That was just a stream of conscious. That was. Oh Jesus. Um, but whereas, like, I think, like, we come and see. It's like I like like after the film, uh, and uh, the subsequent months. It's like I would think of things. And I would like remember vibes and shit. Where it's like I, I would remember um, if we're, if we're on the bottom or uh, the heavier shit. I would mm. like, you know I I remember the fucking um, I remember the uh, the crawling through the uh, the bog. Oh yeah, I, I remember that shot. That was the thing that stuck in my head. I remember that. I remember the fucking excuse me. I remember the um, the fire, the church fire. I yeah. remember the I remember the girl with the whistle. I remember that. That was an image that stuck in my head. I don't remember um, that at all. Uh, bloody mouth whistle. Ah, um, yeah. The fucking... Bl- it was towards the end. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, Blonde girl. The, the, the striking blue eyes. I just got so much pain in her. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, like, that was the thing that stuck in my head. And, and in the end, I remember fucking like, gunning down that uh, yeah. picture of Hitler, which I would want to talk about specifically mm. in its own thing, because I think that deserves its own 
yeah. uh, discussion base and that thing. Um, so, but also I remember things like um, when uh, Flora and Glasher are just briefly enjoying themselves. Mm. Like I, I remember that bit where it's raining oh, and there's that, that that just beam of rainbow, which I'm like, that's how the fuck? Yeah. Like, how, how, how the fuck did, do, you, how did like, you do that? Like, how the fuck is that even like, a thing yeah. that you're like we're going to get that shot uh, or something like that? I remember that. I remember like the greenery feeling mm. of it. And it it's, a, it's like, it's like, I always know that I think a film's good in quality if I could smell it. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. it's, it's, I, and I could smell the fresh grass in that fucking thing. Mm. It's and and I think like again from like a filmmaking point of view, I think it's like well that's just fucking masterful directed in my head. Like if mm. you just like if you've staged so many sequences to me where I'm like, all right, what did happen? Nothing technically did happen, but I'm still remembering it, and I'm still got it in my head, and I can. And I've got the emotion that they clearly wanted. Like, again, like that bog scene. Like I fucking think that's like one. Like that's one of my favorites. Is a strange word to describe mm. that. That's one of my favorite uses of like uh, a tumultuous journey. Oh, okay, <laughs> my, yeah. It's, my, it's my, one of my favorite uses of bogs in cinema. <laughs> it might be the best bog scene in the fucking <laughs> film. I'll tell you that. Even much. better than Never Ended Story. Probably. Well, that, that horse yeah. dies in a bog. What's his name again? I don't know. Falcor? No, that's a dragon, isn't it? Shadow Fax, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But also, but also, I can understand like that shot being a shot that you don't give a shit about because it's, oh, oh, it's such a long shot. Because it's such a long, because it's such a long shot like, of just these two fucking going through mud. There's there's me watching on my laptop here, the fucking arrow key going, skipping five <laughs> seconds. Fucking come on. Jesus. Fuck, man. Why would it take so long to get through this fucking bog? Cause they go through, I want to shove you in a mud pit and see how long oh, it takes yeah. you to no, get on the other side. No, I'd, no, honestly, I'd take a while, but here's the thing. <laughs> here's the crazy thing. Use an editing, we can cut out time. No, but like, it Why would be jarring. It all? But it'll be jarring to see a fucking, they go in one end and then what, they pop out on the other end? Get a, get a bit of fucking coverage, mate. <laughs> Jesus. You wanted more cuts. You wanted more like... I wanted something, you know. <laughs> Fuck. You He's just, str- just you- struggling through a fucking bog and then he gets out. What happens when he gets to the other side? Is that big triumphant moment? No, I just keep walking. Yeah. Oh, oh good. Good oh. Why'd we do what that he- then? What-, what was he gonna do? <laughs> yeah! But I don't fucking know. Bucky, come Something. on. Or maybe like you know, he's going through the bog. He's 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 getting upset and he's getting more and more upset as the realization that his family is dead sinks in and he stops before he gets to the other side and just fucking cries for a bit. That'd be great. He doesn't know they're dead at that point. You know, he, 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 she, Glasha tells him that they're dead after they crawl through the fucking mud. Why? Because she, I don't know. Because he was already in there. He was already going. Yeah, well, just tell him. You know, she's she's clearly sick of going through the bog. <laughs> you know, she's making a face that's saying, "I don't want to be in this bog right now." Maybe tell him before he gets to the other side of the bog. You know that classic face. Yeah, the, cl- the classic, I don't want to be in this bog right now face. <laughs> just maybe, I don't know, say something before he like gets too far into the bog so he can just get out again and you sound. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what I'm saying is, too much bog time in this movie. And that's, <laughs> that's that's what ruined it for me. Too, much, bogs. too, much, too many bogs. I mean, there was only one bog. I'm going cha- to much- change my review on Letterboxd right now. What, too much bog? Too much bog. What was the review? <laughs> I didn't have one. Oh, right, so you're adding a review, you're not changing yeah. your review. Uh, <laughs> too much um, bog. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Done. Don't, don't, know how, don't know how to carry on with that. Um, if, if we're talking about shots, oh, yeah. on this, there's, there's one specific shot. Mm. That, I think this is where it clicked to me where I'm like, fuck me, this is like one one of the, one of my favorite made films. Yeah, yeah. Um it's the only favorite thing that I can use to describe this film. Again, I re I really like the film and I love it, but mm. favorite isn't a word that I would use to be like it's it's come and see, you know, that's one of my favorite films. Oh, yeah. I can to me I could say that's one of the best films I've seen. Mm. Uh for for me, that's like that's a statement that I feel like I could make. I can confidently be like for me, one of the best films that's made. Favorite, different story. One's necessary favorite, uh, but one of my favorite aspects of the film, um, in terms of the making, 
of it is that it is if we're all about the uh the uh, that moment the, the scene with uh, the girl and the whistle um is that is the use of the split diopter which i've discovered is one of my favorite uses in a film when you sparingly <laughs> i want to add that mm. when you sparingly i love a split diopter and i liked it for the first Two times in Evil Dead Rise, and then it kept going in Evil Dead Rise, and then I th- and then I thought to myself like, you could take a shot. There's a drinking game here yeah. for film nerds. I think that was my review for Evil Dead Rise on Letterbox. Mm. Was like, take a shot every time you see a split diopter, you'd be yeah. fucked. Jesus Christ! <laughs> With that film, mm. um, but it's the bit where, and it's a split diopter shot that I don't know how they would have done it. For anyone who's not familiar with what split diopter is, it's a piece that attaches to the lens. Yeah. Um. You know Split Diopter, right, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if the face was like, yeah, tell me, Oscar. Uh, yeah, yeah, go edu- on. Uh, let me edu- hear more, please. Educate me on a Split Diopter. Yes. Um, but like, it's it's a thing that's just on the lens. So if you were to move mm. the lens, the fucking focus would be moved. So, because obviously it's a, again, people who are not aware, it's a half a piece of glass that would magnify one half yeah. of the lens in order of like whatever focal length you set the lens or whatever focal length your lens is because mm. obviously when you change the focus it depends on the foc on like the distance and the focal thing of it so if i so if i were to be like re- if my hand was really close i would set the focus to there but then if i remove my hand everything's out of focus because the focus points here yeah basically what split split diopter does it's like it magnifies one half of the lens so it can so in order to be able to like Keep that in focus and me at yeah. the time. Tarantino used it at times as well. So, and Scorsese has used them as well. Mm. It's not unfamiliar, uh, but it's the there's the first use of it in the scene with the girl at the whistle where it's a fucking it's a horizontal split diopter, mm. which is interesting. I think, yeah. um, which I'm not sure if they, I don't know why that needed to be used, but it was an interesting effect anyway. Mm. Where Flora is in the foreground in the lower half of the frame and the soldiers walking behind him in the upper half of the frame mm. are in the background and Flora and the background are in focus. We hear the whistle. We see the girl very haunting, I think just a mm. very haunting image uh, of her walking towards. And then we get the two, the, the close-ups again. It might have been this one actually. Of it mm. might, it, I'm, I'm thinking now it might be that shot of the background there and then reverse on the, the girl. And then the next shot is the close-up of him mm. or like the shot of him. And then he walks to his area. Yes. He walks and the camera moves, but it moves into a split diopter with the girl. Yeah, I, how, I don't know how you'd do that. So, because in my head, I'm like, well, they didn't just get the split. The split diopter is not attached to the lens because... Yeah. Half of it would have just been out of focus until the girl would. So I'm looking at it, I go, like, that's so fucking like, yeah. to me, I'm like, that's so fucking cool. Like, I don't know. Like, it's like, it's obvious what mm. they're doing, but it's like, yeah. are they like, have they got like a pane of glass that's like, mag- what are they fucking doing that's making that effect? Yeah. It almost, it almost looks like they've just kind of like, got like keyframed around and they just like hovered a frame in and then yeah. moved it out. But obviously it's all done practically. Mm. So to me, I'm like, and, and to me, I always love a film that if I watch a thing in a film, I'm like, how the fuck did they do that? Yeah. Even to like, even me now, who's, I fucking got a degree in film. You know, mm. I, you know, I did, you know, I've, I've, I'm 28. I've, I'm like over a decade into like being analytical to films. Mm. And I love it when I see a film that I'm like, see some, like a filmmaking thing. And I'm like, how the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah. How did that, how did that work? I don't know. It's, it's cool. cool. It's cool shit like that. Yeah. Um, and again, it's not necessarily a narrative-based thing, and I think that's... It's more of a... Again, an emotional-based thing. It's more mm. of a moment. Again, I don't... Again, I, if you take that scene, I don't think you take that scene and go like, watch this. It's not a... You don't... You you you, you could watch that scene and not... You don't need context. Yeah. To me, it's definitely just a moment, and I think the whole film is just a compilation of just you could watch them out of context and just know and be like oh shit fuck yeah. it's just a general progression of seeing this kid go into shit mm. is what it is it's it's a rough it's it, and and yeah it's i a think rough all time. 
I mean, understand. I mean, from like talking to you in that regard, it is like I it, 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 discovery in the sense like, oh yeah, it, it just depends like how you what floats your boat in terms yeah. of in terms of it. Would it? I'm, I was going to say, would it have been better if we had like a flora arc? Like, mm. I mean, there is an arc, but I mean like a more in-depth character thing. But I also think there are other war films like that anyway that do that. I mean, as you said, you brought up Jojo Rabbit and I brought up All Cry on the Western Front. So yeah. there are films like that that do that anyway yeah. yeah and what i think makes this film what it is is the way that it is just a compilation of just like look at the horrors of this fucking thing yeah i think that i think that's why it has its place in that regard again preference aside i think like if it was just another type i think what's mm. so attractive about it is i can't think of anything quite like this viewing experience yeah with it yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know what could have made this film better for me. Hmm. I just, I just don't. I have, no, I have no opinion on it. <laughs> At it just all. didn't click. Just didn't Apart click. from that, it's just like, yeah, I watched it. I, I definitely watched it, but it wasn't. It was nothing. I might as well have flicked through a slideshow <laughs> of of heinous images. And gone, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just also morbidly curious. I, I, I dabble in the morbid curiosity generally. So I mean, yeah. like, so I think that's just, I think that's just where it links up with me anyway in that regard. One yeah, thing I, I am that. curious about you. One thing I am curious about your opinion of is the sound design. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh it's nice, isn't it? Uh, so one that, thing I thought about watching this, I was like, I want to give this film to Johnny Udell and just see, and just see what he yeah. thinks about it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it. It wasn't like standout or anything, um, oh, but but that's but that's kind of I mean to me that's like good sound design if you don't really notice. No, fair, completely fair. Do, do exactly. you know what I mean? But um, but yeah, it, like everything hit when it needed to hit. All all the impacts and shit are like fuck, dead Jesus. Um, mm. Everything that's supposed to be gross sounds gross. I, there was a one thing I will say. Hey, you know. When people are, when you're eating your soup in this movie or whatever, just stop fucking slurping, mate. No, no there was oh, a head. There was, just open there was... your fucking mouth. <sighs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> and, and, and you know, hey, sound off. If you can see the actors could do that, get, get the mic slightly away. It's, it's fucking horrible. It's, a, it's the most horrible noise in the world. Um, but yeah. That follows, that, that follows soon after a fucking intense ringing, though, as well. So yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, that yeah, God, that bit. Yeah, see I mean, that talk- for me. I mean, I know I have I have issues with my ears anyway. So when <laughs> yeah, yeah. so when ring when ringing happens in films, it has to be for a very specifically allotted amount of time before I go. I'm fucking sick of this. Stop it. Oh, it's it's it goes on. It oh goes dear, on. dear God, it goes on for so. Long. Like, it go- do you know how long it went on for me? <laughs> and again, I'm not someone who was like, you know, it's like the film happened and then. It's yeah. when the first bombs dropped. Uh, yeah, yeah. When uh, Flora and Glasher, when it's, you know, a big mood kill for their little, fun little time in the woods. Yeah. Um, where it's just, and then it's just, just ringing. And it goes from a ring. Mm. And then, I don't know how it is with you in terms, because I assume you watch this on your laptop. Uh, yeah. Well, I watched it on my, I watched half it on my TV and then, yeah. Yeah. I, I, want, I stuck it on my telly. Yeah. Uh, so I, so it went from being this consistent ring mm. to being really fucking yeah. high pitched and be like, ah, fuck. Like I can like mm. hear that around me. Yeah. And then it died down a bit and then it went up again. Like it went for so long that it went yeah. through two different dips of being like, fuck. Okay. Oh, now I'm used to it. It's like getting fuck, me in the back of my teeth. Again. It's like in the back of my teeth. It's like, yeah, oh like, God, stop. Now, like, and it's like, and like the uh, the dialogue's muffled. Like it's like yeah. as if your ears are popped. Again, we complimented at the last one. We compliment at the last episode. We compliment Oppenheimer's mm. um, sound design of uh, the bomb. Yeah, it's just cut, and mm. then it went poof, like that. Brilliant. I think it's it's a similar type. It's not the exact same sound design technique, yeah. but it's a similar 
type of effect where it's like, fuck, that's like so real. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, it's just like so like, fuck, okay, yeah, that's like, again, visually, it gets you. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, sh- it, it shows you mad war shit. It goes, oh, God, fuck. Mm. Uh, but then also sonically, I think it's like, oh God, it's like, it just hits you in all, it hits you in all the senses. Yeah, it does yeah. a really great job in terms of really just nailing in all the senses and whatnot. Mm. Um, and I also do, I also think the sound also does a really good job in terms of doing it a lot from Florence perspective anyway. And I mean, we're yeah. talk, I mean, there's the moment with the church burning where it's like it highlights certain moments in that moment. Yeah. Because it's it, it feels almost more like that's when Flora is deciding what he's focusing on hearing. Mm. Like we're hearing the screams of the people in the church and then we're hearing the Nazi soldiers laughing and then, you know, it's, yeah. it, it, but it's not harsh cutting. It's just, it's a lot of like, peaking him it's a lot of like flowing and maneuvering the levels and whatnot within and all i think it's and as someone who's not a sound person at all yeah. even i fucking appreciate that oh yeah personally. Man. yeah definitely um let's uh, uh another bit of trivia that i forgot to mention oh, yeah, go on. is um in relation to a lot of that is they use actual ammo and they used oh, really? actual explosives. Holy shit. That <laughs> doesn't feel like it's allowed. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what I don't know. The fuck? So, so, you know, so you know that scene where Flora is hiding behind the cow? With yeah. The bullet? Yeah, that's live ammo. Probably, probably <laughs> one of my favorite bits in the movie, to be honest. But then I also thought, you know, when the cow got shot? Yeah. There's a bit where I was going, did they fucking shoot a cow? Yeah, they did. They shot a cow. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> no, that's not. It's oh, not. but it looks so. St- oh, oh, that makes me really sad because I thought it was an actor cow. Um, and because you know, like sometimes horses are actors and they're trained to fall yes. over and whatever. Um, I thought it was an acting cow, and it had fallen up, and it was like trained to flop down on the floor because it like its eyes look around when it's fallen over. And it looked like it was going like, did I do a good job? Is it was that, was that was that all right, guys? Did you get what you wanted? But now I realise that that cow's actually been shot, and that's sad. Yeah, no, again, I got the information from Kino Corner in oh. terms of that regarding his video. Apparently, the cow was very ill, so they used it as a way of being like, well, at least he got put out of his misery. Is oh, well, how yeah, they? Yeah, use, sure, it's shoot, how they. No, shoot, I don't, I'm not. I'm not backing you. I'm not backing shoot, them shoot, with that. Shooting the head then. By shooting it like here in the fucking side. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Not- and so instead, that now that now image of me of the cow looking around, being like, "Did I get a good job?" Like a really wholesome image in this film now to me is instead him looking around for help, going, "Is someone gonna fuck?" <laughs> oh Jesus! Please cut anyone. Fuck! Please, please help me! <laughs> Holy shit, that really hurts. Can you like, guys? Oh, but yeah, the fucking it's it's a cool. I I don't. But don't that, yeah, coming on that scene now. But yeah, but that that scene's fucking... that that's probably my favorite. In the movie, I liked. Yeah. The, I liked the pretty lights. It was really aesthetically cool. It was nice. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a, what this film has a lot for me as well. In terms of when I think about again the imagery, is like it's not dull. Yeah, like, uh, like it's. I mean, <laughs> it's. I'm not. It doesn't have an extraordinary color palette. I will say that. No, it's, it's a lot. Like, it's like gray, and brown. It's, uh, but uh, I mean, they utilize green a lot. Yeah, to be fair, I, yeah, I like I like that use. Mm. Makes me feel a little bit more fresh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not I'm on a fucking sandy ass, dirty fucking like yeah. war landscape or whatever. Oh, um, but um, I, I I know what you mean in the sense like they they probably could have cut that moment of the cow getting nicked and stuff. Yeah, I I I, I just like the way it was shot as well. Like it was. It was POV kind of. I felt like mm. a first person shooter. Yeah, <laughs> for a bit they ran, got the guy to fucking roll and cow shit <laughs> yeah i was like ah this is just well I I, I I i like the way it's like all like presented yeah, yeah. it's cool mm. narratively it didn't need to be there no i get that and i think even more so than others other things as well to be yeah. perfectly honest I, I think it's like i mean did you need that i don't know yeah like could could flora have gotten further without that bit happening yeah. technically do you know what i mean like he could, that, he could that entire he, section have been cut out and just the people that he meets up with after he finds out his family is dead just be the ones that get put in the church by the nazis i think that there's at least a bit of a point in that of like um because there's a gradual bit of like one by one they get they fucking they drop mm. and i think there's at least a little bit of a point 
narratively in the sense of like, right, Flores went through this like thing of like fucking he's he's going through just he's the only member his his family's dead. Yeah. And now it, it, I again I guess in any other scenario if the film was more focused on building character narrative, mm. if they built more of like that camaraderie yeah. and then follow that scene up with yeah. one goes in this moment, then another one goes and mm. then another one goes. It could be a bit more tragic. And I think that's kind of what it's more of a thing like I'm witnessing that and I'm like, I can see that that's what it is. Yeah. Or maybe but just like, one, but that's also one of the moments where I'm not feeling that moment emotionally in terms yeah. of that regard. I would say even, you know, here's a crazy thing. This is probably going to be a very hot take. I just remove Glasha from the movie and instead just be the guys that he goes and all the cow shit happens with just be the guys that are on the platoon that he does. All that stuff happens first. It goes wrong. He goes home. Then his family are dead. Then everyone gets put in the church. Then it's the end of the movie. I like how his family's gone like about like after the first act though. Yeah, but you don't see it. You wouldn't see him either way. It would be like, oh, no, I've lost everything. I need to go home to my mom. I get back. Oh, no, I've really lost everything. I, I don't know. I like, I like seeing like his general like spiral after that and just seeing mm-hmm. like, it's, it's not necessarily a spiral. It's more of like a, you just see more shit. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> just see, see, you see more shit happen. <laughs> you see more shit. Um, a few little bits. Um, also, I want to, um, I mean, I, I don't think there's necessarily anything massively to highlight about the performances. I like them mm-hmm. both. I, I, yeah, like, I like. Uh, yeah. I, I, there's, 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 there's nothing technical I can give about them. It's, yeah. It's. I, I think that. Uh, I think especially for two actors who never acted before this. Um, pretty good. I think it's again. Grant, I'm not sure. Like, I, I'm not sure if it's at all that difficult for any of that to be mm. difficult to because it's it's a it's a very all practical film i know that much it's yeah. very i mean you can even just fucking look at it i think that's also what's impressive to me it's like i'm not looking at anything siege mm. <laughs> i'm not looking, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm looking at all this real shit it's really fucking like and i'm not necessarily like wanky purist about like everything needs to be real i think if mm. things i think if things can be cgi doing well yeah is, is literally my thing i don't i'm not i although i have become in terms of recent films i'm like i did fuck fuck it i think there needs to be a cgi ban i'm sick of it yeah i'm saying after quantum mania fuck i'm done with this yeah, shit that's fair. like it's, you, you know what i mean i'm like fucking give me something real yeah <laughs> like p- just purely because i'm i feel ill looking at a cgi thing now mm. um that's why i appreciate barbie and oppenheimer yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for both of those so those reasons uh but i also think that's also just what makes it a bit more impressive to me where it's like i think it's a very stunningly shot film as it is but uh, I mean, I also talk about this whenever we talk about a Kurosawa film. Where I'm like, I'm looking at a real fucking set yeah. with people in costumes, and I'm just—it's just something, you know. It's just a big like fucking spectacle, and it's like I think that's what I get from this as well. Where I'm like, I'm just looking at like loads of people yeah. in suits and just fucking like, and I'm ju- I'm just looking at something that looks like a war. Mm. I'm not looking at people playing war. I'm looking at like an actual fucking thing like that. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think that's also what uh, my point being like that I believe that would help within the performances because mm. you're just sticking to yeah, yeah. people in that world yeah really and be like off you go go do on do your thing this is real look how look how awful everything is isn't it sad and we're, sh- and we're shooing it all chronologically so you can feel it yeah you fucking Jesus dweebs <laughs> you fucking dweebs um Last few things I want to talk about with this film. Mm. Um, they're, they're, it's 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 the ending stretch, okay. really. And I don't necessarily have anything technical to really say about this first bit being the church burning. Mm. But I know when I first watched it, again, I was liking the film um, at that point anyway. It was more of mm. like a thing where, okay, I, I'm, I'm appreciating how really good this film is. And, I'm, and that's my level of enjoyment yeah of this film at the minute is it's a massive appreciation of like yeah i can see how this is like highly rated mm. and i'm getting it and i'm understanding it to me it was the church burden thing that is the thing that like nailed it for me mm. where like that's where i was like oh shit yeah the whole thing is building to that moment where it's like fucking hell what a fucking like 
just like oof of a moment and like mm. and i get and i get your point in the sense of like being like you feel like that um it's that leans into shock yeah moment to me i because to me within a within ever a war film i because i think it's to me i think war films I think I might have discussed this before. Like I'm, I've always been a bit shaky on war films in the sense, like, because I find it it's such a serious topic. Yeah, and I'm like, right, you're either gonna have to do this, you're gonna have to do this, um, so well mm. because it is such like a fucking like horrific thing. Yeah, that I don't want a pro country film. I don't want a fun little adventure. Mm. I want give me some of that's like that makes me. Even though I know war is shit, and I know war bad, mm. but give me a mo- give, if you're going to do a war film, give me something that can make me feel it. Yeah, and, and like, I never because again I know it's bad. I but so I never look for a war film to teach me why it's bad, mm. make me feel it. And I need to rewatch Schindler's List, but uh, yeah. but like that's an example of where I can think about like something like that where you see like the pe- like the the people within. Uh, when you see it, when the Jewish people are within the uh, the concentration camps, like yeah. fuck me, like I know that happened, but fuck me, I, I, I yeah, the film's doing such a good job of making me feel that mm. grimness, yeah, and to me, and and even in Jojo Rabbit, again a, a very quite a mm. f- a fun light hearted film in its presentation, yeah, but what I fucking loved about that film is when it got to the moment where it's like, fuck me, spoilers, spoilers for Jojo Rabbit, just preface that if you yeah. haven't seen Jojo Rabbit, skip ahead like 20 seconds or so, when we see Scar Johansson's died, yeah, it's like, fuck, this is, and then we gradually see all this fucking yeah, mate, it's, well, it's like, fuck me, That's, it's just rough mm. it's just a fucking rough thing and it's like, to me, I need that I, I, I almost need that in my war film because I'm mm. never watching a war film to be, oh, uh-huh, let's have a like nice little fun yeah, fucking yeah. gun ho time. Like I'm watching a war film to be like, right, all right, let me buckle in. Mm. And if I don't feel like I warranted the buckle, yeah. you fucking failed me. And to me, it's once we got the church burning and I'm like, that to me, that was that moment. That mm. that was that was the seeing the Jews in the concentration camp and Schindler's list. Yeah. That was that moment in Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. That, you know, that was, that was that moment where it's like, fucking, hell. and you see the fire burning and it's like, it's, it, to me, that got my blood boiling. Mm. Like when I first watched it, it's like, fucking hell, as if they, like this happened. Yeah. And it's just downright, it, it's disgusting me. And that's exactly what this film needed for me, uh, needed to do for me to be like, okay, this is, this has latched it on as a war film that I can get behind. Yeah. Whereas for me, it was like, just overkill. I get like, I, I don't know. I, I was just, uh, it was like, it, like you say, you were you were in the film at that point and that was the thing that nailed it in for you. Whereas for me, I was already over it. And then I was like, oh, more horrible shit? Okay, yeah, just fucking pile it on. Just get me right. to the end, please. <laughs> just, just keep me showing me horrible things. Please, please, so please. So in a curiosity point of view, how I said about like how like when I'm watching a war film, that's why I would mm. I want that type of thing in yeah. a war film for me. What are you when it, whenever uh, whenever Robbie whenever Robbie Tweedell wants to buckle into a war film, what's 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 the outcome that you want? Uh, he doesn't usually, but if <laughs> but if he did, um, I guess it would just be like you know yeah I mean sh- you know show me the horrors of war and and, and such things. Also, like, say something. Like, you know, present me with characters I can be invested in. Okay. Show, show me that camaraderie. Like, what? Like, Fury, I really like. I need to watch that. I need to watch so it's fucking. It's fucking great because that the chemistry with everybody's great. I like all the characters. Each of them doesn't bring their own separate quality to the to the group and to the, um, what do you call it, ensemble thing. It's great. I'm enjoying it. I'm investing in these characters. Oh no, Shia LaBeouf's dead. Well, that's a shame. Oh, spoiler. You know, I, I can't remember if he even does that. <laughs> I think he does. I, don't, I can't remember. <laughs> but like, you know, it's like, you... you know, I want to be invested in these people so that when I see them die, I'm like, oh no. As opposed to just being like, here's one guy. Let's watch him go from thing to thing. That's a horrible thing. Yep. Yeah. Next one. Hey, isn't this an even worse thing? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
I just know what I mean. So it's like with me, like when I when I watch war film, it's more like okay, like show me like like nail, like give me that feeling of like holy shit, fuck yeah, that's why I hate war. Yeah, and and you made me actually feel that. You're more like transport you're... me to the time period and make me tell me a story about these people and show me these people. Yeah, I was gonna say like the like, yeah. the the the, the understanding that I got from that was more like it's not too dissimilar to what I gain what I necessarily want from it. You yeah. just you just you you uh, go through that more so with a thing of like you. It's more of like a thing where like okay. Give me that feeling by making me attached to a character and yeah. show me how what they go through as a character yeah. and as characters. I guess Seven Samurai is actually another really good example of like that mm. type of storytelling. Yeah, yeah. No, like Seven Samurai is not really a war film, but I think like that has the same storytelling things yeah. that could make for a really good war film. Yeah, where you bunch all these people together, off mm. you go. Yeah, and I yeah. Um, the other thing I want to talk about, I guess, with the film. Mm. Um, is the ending? Oh yeah, and I think and it, and it, and I and again I thought and again it was good. first time watching it thought it was really good second time watching it fucking floored me personally mm-hmm. uh, again by that point we got the whole aftermath of the church burn and we got the um we got the um the bits where are they going to burn the Nazis? No, they just get gunned down. Fuck, what a moment mm-hmm. in that regard! And yeah. then we get the moment of him just shooting. The, the portrait of Hitler. It's not yeah. just that. Again, the the editing and what Elam Klimov decides to do in terms of uh in a in terms of what he is choosing to show us, we get mm. actual flashes of archive shit of Hitler. I was like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, fuck, yeah. And at one point it can be like, yep, yeah, okay, yeah, you're shooting the picture, yeah, because fuck Hitler. Yeah. Um uh as as the film uh originally was called Kill Hitler. Um, yeah. Which I've just remembered another point mm. about why it was called that, but I'll get to it after that, talk okay. about it. Um, but then we see like actual archive stuff of Hitler, hear him, mm. see you know, see all the news shit, shoot, 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 shoot. Then we see pictures of him younger, mm. and then shoot, shoot, shoot. Eventually gets to the point of him as a baby. Yeah. freezes and to me i'm like oh fuck that's so powerful like, like, yeah. me, I don't, like that's such like a fucking like like a really like such like a goddamn like moment of like oh fuck me <laughs> like yeah. again i'm not saying like maybe let's think about it. it's a but to me it is mm. like yeah would you <laughs> yeah, yeah like if you if that was your process would you yeah and in, in that regard it's such like and to me i think like you could probably take that moment Again, there's a lot of scenes, as I say, that not you don't necessarily need them narratively. You can just pick them out and go, "This, yeah, just look at this scene." I think that moment in its entirety is such like a fucking like it's the like to me like you could put that like on in like that 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 like moment like belongs in like a museum. <laughs> it mm. belongs in a museum. It belongs uh, in like, a museum. Like in the fucking thing of like just like what it's saying without yeah. actually saying. Yeah, yeah. Of like, I mean, if if any if any certain script writing lecturer wants to actually like actually show us about show don't tell. Oh yeah, show that scene. Is yeah, that like, or like that scene being an example of show and yeah. not telling. Yeah, Lee. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> But like I think in general, obviously I'm not saying that yeah. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that this is the example of mm. show don't tell. I'm just saying that it's a really good example. Yeah, it's a great show example. don't tell. Yeah. Uh, person, I think I think it's um yeah. A- yeah. Again, it, it's it, I think it's that moment where like because I forgot that we went back to baby Hitler. <laughs> yeah. If I'm being perfectly honest, I'm like I'm like I ju- I just remember him shooting the fucking mm. picture and you know going through actual like Hitler like. Archive, archive footage, footage. Yeah, yeah. But then I realized, like, I see, like, like there's moments where you see, like, just him, but with a mm. beard, and go, wait a minute, is that? Oh, Hang the fuck on, they're going further back. Uh, Holy shit, that's him as a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a <laughs> weird, <laughs> you know, it's, and it's, it's a, a weird, and it's a weirdly high def photo of him as a baby. Uh, yeah. How did they get that? <laughs> how did Elon Klimov get yeah. that? Fucking, Who did like, you rob? Uh, <laughs> the Hitler, the Hitler estate. Yeah. Oh my god! Imagine that being a thing. Oh, the Hitler estate. Awful. Um, <laughs> there's no one in that. There's no one from nah. the bottom. Good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like frankly, and frankly, um, no. 
No. Terrible joke, by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rem- remove yeah. that. Christ. No, I, I'm not editing it out, but I'm acknowledging that. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a reactionary joke, I can tell you that much. Um, oh, that's a but, shame. Well. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> she would just left even more silently. Just going, that's a shame. And just, well. Anyway, so. Have a sip, go on. So, um, yeah. No. <laughs> Get to that point, um, Oof. but yeah, so yes, was it? Oh, yeah, the next, the other point that I was going to say about the, the fact of like the name, oh, yeah. the, the name of Kill Hitler mm. was it wasn't meant to necessarily be like like a grindhousey title of like Kill Bill, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. like Kill Hitler, it's it wasn't meant to be thinking like we're gonna go and kill Hitler, it was mm. meant it was meant to be more about the thing of like just kill the Hitler in us type of thing, like kill the oh, hate. Okay. Type oh, okay, of thing, yeah, yeah. like, and I and I think that ending with that context being like the point isn't this human being, because mm. what I necessarily gained from it was like, would yes, killing hit removing Hitler completely, would it remove the equation at all, mm. or would there have just been another hateful person who would have done what Hitler did? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I gained from it. I'm not saying like maybe we should have spared. Maybe Hitler should have been spared. Fucking mm. arsehole. Fucking, you know. Dude. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> that's not a hot take. Yeah, yeah. Hitler what, arsehole. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's like. <laughs> but I think it's like a, it's not a thing where like I don't read it like Flora doesn't take the final bullet on baby. He doesn't mm. stop at baby Hitler because yeah. he's like, huh. Maybe I don't kill a child. Maybe it's like a thing yeah. where it's like, but would it be worth it? Or mm. is it like a thing where like, is would there be another person with that type of hate that would have just done what Hitler did anyway? Yeah. So the whole point of kill Hitler, again, it. I think if it would have been called kill Hitler, it's it's a very eye catching title. It would have been like oh, yeah. kill Hitler. What the fuck's that film? Yeah. Um. But the whole reason behind it was more so sort of like no kill the Hitler in you. Mm. Like kill that in, mm, kill okay. that hate, kill that like, fucking like, it, it it's a lot more metaphorical than it is literal. Yeah, and I think that's like the whole point of it within it, and I think it does a decent enough job at conveying that in that moment, like conveying yeah. that message for me at least. Again, it's a sh- it's a very show don't tell scene, so it's whatever you gain from it, you gain yeah. from it. Um, and I I really like the end shot, of just seeing them. For, it's a it's a classic war shot where it's like the mm. story. It's not over. Not fight again. This, oh, yeah. This, Just this a is set nice in, little... Is it, Turns uh, up to it, the skies. It's set in 1943. So the war yeah. wasn't... A, was, the, was it 1945, the war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of years left. Yeah, so it's not... So it's not like, ah, oh, yes, let's go back home, guys. It's, yeah, it's, it's, that's it, guys. Well done. We shot that paint. <laughs> Shot that, that we, shot, we shot that one picture. Let's get out of here. We shot all the Nazis and we shot the picture of Hitler. Jobs yeah. are good. And Jobs are like, good and boys. It's like, but we don't need to see more. We know what the yeah. fuck happened. And obviously the film also ends with a title card being like, mm. yep, this is the fact thing about that. But I think like, they say 624 yeah. Belarusians. Jesus. Were fucking, or something like that. An yeah. un- a, a stupid amount of number of people mm. died in that incident. It was fucking, again, men, one of many fucking tragedy incidents happened in World War II that I don't need to tell people about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that you, that the, that this isn't that for like yeah. you don't come to this for World War Two information statistics. Yeah, we don't have it. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> I can just tell you what the film tells me. That's all. Yeah. I, that's all I can do. Sorry about that. But yeah, I think that uh, to me, again, I would say it's that's why it's less of a favorite as more of like an appreciation mm. film for me. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I, again, I, I can say the filmmaking. Some of my favorite filmmaking. Mm. Um. But the film itself is a film where like it's one of the best films I've seen. Yeah. Uh favorite, not so much. You're not seeing this crack in my top thirty favorite no. films. Um might be a bit different if I would have listed the best films, but I don't do that because fucking hell, that's a nightmare. That's a yeah. nightmare to try dear, to think dear, about. Dear God. Uh but yeah, final final bits before we say our rating, Robbie. What's your what's your thing? Uh, anything, you know, I else? think um, you know, I didn't it wasn't for me, and that's fine, you know. Um I just think that it was the lack of a narrative led me to just being like, it's just a, just a slideshow of horrible things. Nothing's real. And none of it really meant anything to me. It was just kind of going, isn't this awful? And I was going, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Yes, you're right. 
Um, so, you know, it w- wasn't for me, but I can appreciate that it is very well made and the craftsmanship behind it's very, very, very nice. This was also Elon Klimov's final film. Yeah, you stopped making films after this. He didn't die, but he was oh, like, damn. but he, I think his whole point was like, yeah, I don't think I could do better than this. So I'm just going to stop. Yeah, fuck it. That's it. Was, 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 was a legit thing that I just thought I was like, fuck it. I'm not, I don't need to do it anymore. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> dear god he just stopped for the voice like yeah i can't get better i can't do better than this um yeah and for some people no one has only uh yeah. but yeah uh final uh again rating for me it's it, i i'll put this at a five star personally again it's an emotional thing I, uh, in terms of like that's that that's that, that's where the emotion gives me i i, I mm. get it's a uh, i put this at a five star two and a half sure done oh that's that, 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 to me, right <laughs> to me two and a, right to me two and a half feels low like to it's, me that feels it's, it's five out of ten yeah i know what you mean by that but to me that's like it's not good low. it's not it's not bad okay so, let's say you know okay fair fair, fair. if i if I, I could if i could give it no stars i would <laughs> not out of like this is awful and zero stars i mean it's in like if i could just not give it a star rating i'd do that no, I know what you mean. Because I'm like, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just going straight down the middle and saying two and a half. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't know. I definitely watched it and it definitely happened. And you're but definitely I, not going to watch it again. And I'm never going to see it again. <laughs> oh, dear God. Um, and with that being said, Robbie, should we maneuver into the... Um, into the uh, what? What do we, what do we call this thing? The intermission. The intermission bit. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything that you want to say? Uh, yeah, man. I've got. I've got a couple of things to say. Go on. Um, I've got. Um, I got. A list yo, yo, Dre. I got something to say. Yo, Dre. I got something to say. Go have a look at my list on Letterbots. I'm gonna. I'm Hang gonna on, watch you look sad about it. Hang on. Oh, f- why? Why? Why is that? A movie? <laughs> why is that? Go on my letterbox. I want you to be sad. Fuck me, Robbie, mate. Um, is it a list? <laughs> right. Well, you chose like- this film. All right? You chose this film for me to talk about. So you know what? I can make you sad for a bit. <laughs> right? I'm making up for you with the next three episodes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Prat. Hang on. Let me... <laughs> Hang on a minute. I need like, I'm trying to sort out the <laughs> average rating of the last few films we've done. Uh, okay. Minute. Okay. Pl- plus that divided by that. Okay. Um, well, this just in. <laughs> this just in. Like this this just in, lads. Oppenheimer has obviously Oppenheimer had an average rating of four because we both yeah. gave it a four. Uh, yeah. Barbie has Barbie av- has an average rate of three and three quarters. Um, okay. Placing it. One below Oppenheimer. Yep. Uh, one above Hero. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. Sure. <laughs> sure. It, it is. It's, it's oh, he, Hero, he, Hero got three and a half. An <laughs> okay. Oh, um, okie dokie. <laughs> and, uh, and Come and See. Yeah. Got got uh, got the same as Barbie, actually. Come and See has also got three and three quarters. That's a funny stat to me. There you go. Uh, that's a, that's a, to me, that's a funny stat. That's like, that's like Barbie and come and see are tied on the intermission. That's so funny. Scale. And <laughs> Dear God. Right. Right. Hang on. So I need, I need to go on your letterboxed. It's not the intermission one. Because that's just all the films that we've watched on the intermission. Oh, I need to update that as well. I got one on mine, but I need to update it. Okay. Right. Where you at? Hang on. I need to find... <laughs> I, I, I'm battling through my letterbox. Hang on. Okay. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Um, um, I'm just in Leeds, mate. There you are. Oh, shut up. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just shut up. Shut right. the fuck up, List. man. Uh, 2023 ranked. I don't want to look at this. <laughs> One, because I also wanted to be a surprise for our actual list. For our list video. So I don't want to like, but also it's going to change by the time we do the list video. I'm only going to make you watch well, it this one time. <laughs> if it stays yeah, the yeah. same by the top 10 video, then something's gone drastically wrong. I, I would question that you're, 
Yeah, I'll question your ability to actually watch shit at that point. If you've, st- if this is all you've seen. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I've I've done it in a way to where I have, mm. where I'm only seeing the bottom and I'm moving up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I'm going to read the ratings as well. I'm going and I'm going I'm going to give my opinion. I don't know how many of these so. I've actually given the ratings. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing all of them um, actually. Maybe. I uh, probably I know. Right. At excuse me. Um no, right, you have there's no numbers on this. At the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Indiana Jones and Dark Destiny at one star, which I expect for you. Yes. Um I don't agree it's a one star film. So <laughs> I, I think it's completely inoffensive and whatever. It gave it's me a complete... it, it, it's the only film this year that's given me a depressive episode for like four days. So there's that. Which is fair. If a film ever does that to someone, yes, it should be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not good. Hey, I, 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 that, that's what happened with me with Lion King and Black Christmas. Yeah. The same fucking, yeah, I may add. Yeah. I thought about Lion King 2019 earlier today and I started shouting about it. I'm in the house by myself. I'm not talking to anyone. So I'm fucking getting angry about that film I'm because I just scre- thought about it. Screaming about it <laughs> on your own. Yeah, I think, I think I was like, it's every fucking thing wrong with film. <laughs> no, do you know what it is? Because Lewis is in Disney World right now, like on holiday. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I also stay the fact of like, hey, Lewis support, Lewis is anti-strike, pass it on because he's supporting Disney. Oh my God. He's supporting you Bob Iger. Of, you piece of shit. Um, I said to him, he should, he should, he should have a strike placard outside the Magic Kingdom. He should. And then he, and then, uh, and then he, and then I started jokingly saying like different strike things, mm. but I said, but it should just be a random strike. And one of the things I, I, I got like someone holding a strike placard, and then I put, um, uh, I think it was like there is no excuse for Halloween ends and Rise of Skywalker. Oh wow, like, that should, that's like, that should have been like, yeah, yeah. No excuse for that. And then another placard being like, I stand with Ryan Johnson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That. In That's Galaxy's good. Edge. Um, right, so then above right, Indiana Jones, you got Ant yeah. Man Wasp. Ant Man Wasp, Quantum Mania. Yeah. That's why I would call it. Um, two and a half stars. Too high. Too high of a, too high of a rating. That's fine. Um, that is currently my least favorite film of the year. Okay. I can't imagine a worse one for me personally. <laughs> yeah, that's so, fair. So, so this is this is all fair. I know what the next one is because I think I caught a glimpse of it. At two stars, first of all, you've got a high, you've rated you've got Ant Man the Wasp higher rated than this film. Sure. I want to add yeah, at well, the minute. Yeah, well, at least I finished Ant Man and the Wasp. <laughs> then take John Wick four off. You didn't finish it. It doesn't count. <laughs> Fucking get rid of it. <laughs> Fuck me. It. I know where You're it's wrong. Go- I know where it's going. You're wrong. You know. It's not going to be on your list, is what it's going to be when we go through it next, the, the like at the end of the year. <laughs> What's the point? Fuck me. Um, no, finish it, then have an opinion, you twat. I, <laughs> yeah, I'll finish it, and I'll still say it wasn't uh, very good. It's like Tide is the best John Wick film. It's not. Me. It's, it's like, not it's like at everything. all. It really fucking is. It's like everything that's good with action films. No, there's two. The the top John Wick films are the first John Wick film and yeah. the first forty five minutes of the third John Wick film. All of three. All of three. No. There isn't a bad John Wick film, I'm saying it now. Okay. There isn't a bad one. No, there isn't a bad one. I'm um, just saying, yeah, I don't like that one. Is it badly made? No. But you know. Fuck man, it's boring. So that's cinematography. You're looking at that film and you're bored. Yeah. You're looking at John Wick 4 and you're bored. Yeah. Boring, mate. Fuck me. Donnie Yen? Yeah. You see You see what yeah, he, he was could good. do? No, he was good. Yeah. And how are you bored watching him fight? How are you bored? Because it's the same fight over and over again. It's not again. the same fight. He probably got nunchucks and f- fucked up a fool. It's the same fight over and over again. I don't know what you want, man. I'm going to shoot this person. Over and over again, in their bulletproof suit, until I can yeah. get within an inch of them and then shoot them in the chin. And I'm gonna do did that even, for two and a half hours. Did you even get to the top down fight? No. That's like fucking action revolutionary, mate. The fucking sure. camera angle where it's like Hotline Miami. Sure. 
fucking a, a one out of him I'll, blasts him through I'll, fucking I'll, hell, I'll, man. Fin- I'll finish it and get back to you. But We've got to watch all of them. We'll watch all of the fuckers. Fine. <laughs> and I'll be bored after two. I don't know when I'm going to have the time to get you I, to na- watch na- all na- of them. Na- Neither do I. <laughs> I'll crash one weekend. Yeah. And you won't be in Leeds as well. <laughs> yeah. Run- come, come and surprise me at my flat when I'm not there. <laughs> I'll go yeah. see George instead. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> or Angus. Angus is down your way now. Yeah, well, he might be moving to my house. What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, he messaged me the other day and was like, <laughs> long story, mate, but I might need to crash at yours for a few days. And I was like, okay, when? And he went, I'll let you know. I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> it's like, please let me know sooner than later. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I got to Italy in three weeks. <laughs> so, you know. In three weeks? I got on the 2nd of September. Whenever that is. I need to, like, hang on, I need to do some maths. Oh, yeah. Uh, this. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We 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 can fit if we don't miss a week. We can technically fit in the last oh, okay. bit of the intermission. Oh, sweet. The, right. the the final intermission of this season will get uploaded when you're in Italy. In oh, that, it fine. will get uploaded on the second. Yeah. So yes, we 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 can technically do that, it. right. That, so, yeah, that's so, when I'm going to Italy. If they put them bloody fires out, for the hell. Oh yeah. Get on oh, yeah, get yeah. on with it, you will you. <laughs> Just, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, know, get, get, get on with it, will you? I want to go on my holidays. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Typical Brit number yeah. fifty-three. <laughs> yeah. um, above John Wick four is Evil Dead Rise. I know why you. I get why you didn't like it. Where's the funnies, mate? I don't think an Evil Dead film needs it to be a funny. Yeah, I do. Because what's the point? Then it's just a horror film. But also, I mean, the first one isn't funny. Yeah, it is though. It's kind of campy. No, it's got a chat. It's, it's camping camping weird and but it's, charming. But it's, but it's not a funny film. It's not meant... Like, that film wasn't made to be funny. Yeah. Well, none of them are made to be funny. The f- Army of Dark. Well, Army of Dark. I'm <laughs> Army of Dark. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> but I'm just kind of like, you know, if you're going to do an Evil Dead movie, why are we just making a horror film? Like a regular ass fucking insidious ass, conjuring ass horror film. <laughs> A Condren's class, don't you be fucking like throwing the Condren yeah, in? Yeah, 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 the first two, I guess. I was going to say the first two Condren's. Yeah, yeah, they're like, good. Do, do you remember we saw the third one in cinema? No. Do, do you remember me, you, and Ethan Strachan went to see the third Condren film? No. I don't remember. The, the way that I said the first two, I did actually think to myself, is there a third one? Yeah. It turns out I've seen it and I saw it with you, apparently. What happened, and in, Ethan. <laughs> what, what happened in that? Fuck, I can't remember. It was like a court case, wasn't it? But it wasn't all just a court case. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was oh, it the devil yeah. made me do it? Was Yes, it? that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was shit. Yeah. That was a week out. It was either a week or two after we saw Spiral. A yeah. much more memorable horror film, I will add. Yeah, I liked Spiral. Um, Spiral was good. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I even did rise as far. I forget about when Because I, I was starting to think about like all the horror films I've seen this year. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think of like, what I think's my favorite one so far. Yeah. And I know what my favorite one is so far, like without a doubt. Mm. Um, but, um, and I was like, oh shit, yeah, Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> oh yeah, Evil was, Dead Rise, I remember that. that and then my reaction movie. would be like, yeah, it's fine. Like that was, you know, that was like yeah. literally, I was like, one, I forget about it, and two, I think it's fine, it's whatever. Yeah, sorry. Um, Scream 6, solid film, like I that one. Haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm, I'm excited about I, it. I didn't get a chance to see Insidious 5. I've had a lot of mixed things. Yeah. Um, it's kind of been the year of a lot of franchise horror, hasn't it? Yeah. And we got Exorcist. Was it Believer? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, William Freakin. I want to lay that out there. Fucking. Yeah, rest in peace. That was, that, was, that was unexpected. That was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is there an up? Oh, Saw X. That's another fucking horror Socks. franchise thing coming out this year. Go Socks. You know, that like trailer looks. You know, I'm fine with the trailer. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Did did you did you see the Exorcist trailer? Did you watch that? Yeah, I skimmed through it. Yeah, it, uh, I ah, it's it's. There's a lot of worries that I already have with it. Well, it's it it's just um, you know when these when they announce it and they're getting the guy that did the new Halloween movies to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't think they'd just be doing the new Halloween films. But they have. It's the same We're, fucking thing. It's, no, yeah, and, and if there's one, the mo- made- 
if there's one movie that doesn't need that, it's probably The Exorcist. Fucking Exorcist. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you, you, you haven't seen The Exorcist. I've never, I've yet. never seen it, but I understand that it's one of those films where it's like, it's like doing another Jaws and bringing back Richard Dreyfuss as being like, I remember when I first fought a Jaws. Oh, like, don't say that because they're going in. So I don't, I, don't, going like, I don't want to fucking watch that. Why do, I, why do I care? Why is this a franchise now? What are we doing? I mean, there, there, there has been sequels before. Uh, yeah. 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 There, 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 was, there was an Exodus 2 and Exodus 3. Okay. And then in the 2000s, there was Exodus prequels. Mm, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and now we've got this sequel yeah. trilogy. Yeah. It's going to be a trilogy. Supposedly. Fuck my son. Anyway, yeah. Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. Uh, you got the Super Mario Bros. at three stars. That's fine. I, I think I have a similar yeah. agreement with you. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. It's not much in the way of story, but it's certainly a Mario film, isn't it? Does exactly what it does. Some would yeah. say it's the come and see of Mario films. Some would oh. say that, yes. Not me personally. Uh, uh, Shazam came out and you saw it. and you. I saw it and it's not as bad as everyone was banging on about. It's fine. All right. I've never seen it's it. All right. I've, I've seen it. It's okay. Um, uh, there was some cool, there's some cool little horror bits. You know how the first Shazam was like. It had a few like. Oh, they had a, a that, like. It. Hey, remember when kids' movies weren't like were like kind of fucking freaky sometimes? Yeah, yeah. they do that again a couple of times, and it's nice because you know David Asambe is good at that, and I like him. And I just want him to do I well. I just want to nah, give him a what? cuddle, like do you know what I mean. <laughs> I just want to give him a hug. It's all right. It's a good. It's all right, man. It's an okay movie. Don't worry about it. I want a podcast episode with David F. Sandberg and Mike Flanagan. That's the first that's oh. the thing that just sprung right there. Yeah. Those oh, two yeah. guys, I fucking love them, but I love yeah. Mike Flanagan and David F. Sandberg. Right? Oh, yeah, man. Hell yeah. Um, and above that, Transformers Rise of the Beast at three stars. Didn't yes. see it. Never will. I um, never will watch this film. Um, a movie that I have seen. <laughs> and that's all I can say about that, I'm afraid. And then above that, three and a half stars, you got Knock of the Cabin. Yeah, it was all right. It's good. Yeah, I enjoy yeah, it. We, yeah, I liked it. We had it. We had an enjo- enjoyable time. Yeah, 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 we had a good time seeing that. It's a good time. Dave, Dave Batista and his big head. Yeah, I like Dave Batista and his big, strange little noggin. A strange, <laughs> big old wrinkly noggin. The, the the same cinematographer as. Oh, who the fuck did this? I'm not sure if it was the same guy who did M Night's other ones, mm. recent ones. Who was the same cinematographer as It Follows? The beach that makes you it, old. Oh, I, right. I want to. I, I haven't. I haven't checked. I haven't fact checked it just yet. Yeah. But I want to guess. Yeah. Old. Fuck that. You just said that. Like, <laughs> fuck that film so hard, man. That's such a shit film. Um, I want to guess it's the same guy who did the Lighthouse okay. or Hereditary. It's one of those. Uh, cinematographers. Okay. There was two cinematographers, and it was it was the guy. It was, the, yeah. it was Yaron Yaron Blask who did uh, the Lighthouse and the Witch and uh, the Northman. Oh, cool. He, he's Rob. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're, Really well shot film. Mm. Dave Batista really good in it. Yeah. With his big prune head. Yeah. Film ended and we looked at each other and we went, no twist? Yeah. What's that <laughs> no about? Twist? You're going to do a Shyamalan film? No twist? Come on. Come on, M. Come on. What are we doing? Um, above <sighs> that, you got Asteroid City. I'm surprised. Yeah. You rated it high enough. It looks nice, doesn't it? Like every, everything else, I'm like, you know, most of these I'll have forgotten about. By the end of the year. All right. Asteroid City is the first one where I'm like, yeah. Okay, okay. I saw it. I remember seeing it. That was it. Do you see what I mean? Where I said to you, I wouldn't be surprised if you hated it, which I, it's good that oh, you didn't yeah. hate it. At least. I, didn't, I didn't despise it. I just think it's, um, it's convoluted and wanky and stupid and pointless. Like a lot of Wes Anderson stuff that I find with it anyway. I, I've realized, I used to say, I love Wes Anderson, and now I say, I like some Wes Anderson. And by that, I mean, you... I like probably like three, four of his films, and the rest of them, I think, are wanky shite. How much have you seen of it? Have you seen, uh, you've A seen lot. Rushmore? Yeah. Yeah, Rushmore's an empire. Don't like uh, it. Did you see Bottle Rocket? Yeah. You haven't seen it? No. Nah. Uh, you've seen Royal Tenenbaums? Yes. like that one. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying yeah. to like gauge it because I'll yeah, yeah, no, no, I like, uh, I like that one. Yeah. Uh, Life Aquatic. Yeah. Don't mind that one. Oh, yeah, I mean, I like that. One. I haven't seen it in a while. Like, um, yeah. Darjeeling Limited. Yeah. I like that I one. Know, I, 
I haven't seen that one in a while, but I also remember thinking it was good. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Great. Yeah, it's love amazing, it. isn't it? Yeah, um, I love it. Moonrise? What did you think of Moonrise Kingdom? Is that, uh, yeah, it's all right. Okay, okay. Grand well, Budapest. It's the best one. It's his best one. Not my favorite. It's his best. Um, it's my favorite one and his best one. No, which is completely fair. Um, what do you do after that? I love dogs. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> and then he did, and then French this. So you don't think all you don't right? What, yeah, what yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're you're either like yeah, it's fine, or like that's really good, and it's more his recent stuff where you're like, Fuck I, me. yeah. His last two, I'm just like, why get out of your own ass, please. Hasn't he got a new one coming out? He's got a short film coming out later this year. That's where I like. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, I don't know, to, to me he's got like, the, this newest one was like, hey, you know the story that you'd like starting to tell? Yeah, just tell that story. Why, why are we doing like, actually it's a story within a story and also the story is actually doing a documentary about the story. Fuck off. Just, no. just, just do the thing. No, I do agree in the sense of like, I would have liked to just be in Astro City. <laughs> yeah. Why yeah, are we like... doing, Asteroid City's not a real place. It's actually a play and we're doing a documentary about the play and the maker of the play. What? Why? Again, just I do like the story. story. You're gonna like the film, but I do agree. I do agree. It's with just, you. oh god, yeah. Uh, Dun- Dungeons and Dragons. No, haven't seen it, and I will not see it. Really liked it. It's great. It's really fun. You should see. It. I think you'd like it. No, I won't. I, well, I, I don't think I will like it. That, why, that's why? Why I, do you not think you'd like it? Because the comedy is everything. You know, I can't remember which one it was. What? For, oh, you know, I like you saying like well, there was some comedy on Barbie where you're like, it's just shit. Yeah. The comedy that I've seen of this. Do, does not land for me one bit. I'm like, I'm gonna hate this. And if the whole gonna... film, and if the whole film's this comedy, I'm fucking gonna despise this film. I mean, it's gonna be so insufferable. It's the bit where Justice Smith, where's the guy like, you must not lean on the thing, and then Justice Smith leans on a thing, and the bridge collapses. Went, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Whoops! I go, fuck you. Like that's yeah. like, that's just it's yeah. nothing. Fuck you. Or like Hugh Grant being like, I cannot stand to watch this, so I'm gonna leave the room. I go like, that's not funny. Yeah. It is. <laughs> that's a, no, it's very no, funny. That's what I mean. I'm looking at that and go like, I I find you smug and insufferable. Like yeah. that's, a, that's yeah, he's, a, he's the he's the villain. What yeah, do you but, want? Yeah, but for the wrong reasons, Robbie. For the completely uh, wrong reasons. You, you, should, you should watch it. It's good. Look, all I'm saying is I like disaster artists, and you like don't look up. There, miss- there's, there's our like there's our com- comedy divides. You're missing out on some cool uh cool action scenes shot in a really cool and interesting way with a lot of nice camera movement and stuff. You you you're missing out, man. Nice practical uh, effects, also. Who directed it? John Francis Daly. What did they do? Oh, uh, look. Oh, they did Game Night. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's good. Nah, I'm not going to watch it. You know how I said about, like, how, I'm so, how I hate CGI? Yeah. Yeah, it's, all, it's practical effects in that movie. All of it. All most, of it. Most of it is practical effects, and it's fucking awesome. They look amazing. Mm, trailer didn't do a good job of expressing that though did it uh, yeah so don't go off the trailer then you're always talking you're like, ah! you're always talking shit about trailers I and then you and then you and then you watch one and you're like i don't like the look of that go watch the fucking movie how long is it uh, if it's, not, it's not that long if it's over at 90 minutes i'm just not well, oh. every, every fucking movie's over 90 minutes you cunt i've been complaining oh. about this for months Okay, if it's over two hours, what's this? It's two hours and 15 minutes? No, yeah, thank well, you. Yeah, well, I don't feel like it. <laughs> uh, what's above that? The Flash. It's fine. It's, a, it's good, isn't it? I mean, we, uh, yeah, we had a good enough time. Baby, I, had, I, had, I had a good time. You know, it's, um, it's, it's fun. It's fine. You know. What's this pink poster? Oh, it's Barbie. It's Barbie. Like, what are you, idiots? What's this pink poster? Right, because I can see the bottom. It's, like, like, it's, it's, only the, it's only the biggest movie of the year. What did I say, Robbie? What did uh, I fucking say? Is what? it going to be the highest grossing film of the year? Probably. It may be. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. Was... I didn't disagree with you. You, you kind of you, you you questioned my statement. Is all I'm I saying. I didn't. I would question Oppenheimer if you said that was going to make a lot of money. No, you questioned in the sense like, oh no, Mario came out. Yeah, oh, Mario still made more money than it. At the moment. Yeah. At the moment. Okay, but this uh, didn't release in fucking China and stuff. Well, well, and it's still a billion dollar film. What does yeah. that say? It says that everyone that's going to see it has already seen it at this point. It's going to plateau pretty soon. I don't know. I think people are going to go better rewatch it. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about you. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I am feeling 22. And then you got Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yep. Yeah, it's a very good first half of a movie. 
resent me three more memes yesterday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've gone so many because the movie released on digital yesterday. Oh, so, okay. so everyone's got HD clips of it now, which is why we're getting so many fucking memes. <laughs> that, that's why. It's because it released on digital, so now there's like 4K clips of it around that you can send us. Uh... <laughs> imagine me, imagine me just sends us the film in parts. He's, in a, he's a fucking... He's an evangelist fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> I've never yeah. right. I've never been like this with a film in my phone. Like with you, Law. I've never like Oh like, my god. E- even when we both liked even when both when me and you both really liked everything everywhere. Yeah. I wasn't fucking memeing I wasn't sending you everything I could see about that film. Oh my god. Me, you, even when the Batman came out, Reese wasn't even doing this with us. <laughs> he was he's become like an across the spider verse Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. He just sends you shit. Like it, <laughs> Have you have you heard about have you heard about Miguel? It's like yes, yeah. yes. I've seen his little bum. Um, Stop sending me it. Hey, I'm looking forward to. Hey, oh. I, looking forward to. You know, I'm looking more forward to Dead Reckoning two than I am across the Spider Verse two. I'm just saying. I still haven't seen Mission Impossible yet. I'll get to it. Hopefully, uh, you've got Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I like it. We talked about last time. Because do do my number one first, because I'm going to use number two as a sick segue. <laughs> Open arm is your three, is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so your one. Unless I've, yes. Okay, no, I've just seen your two. Your <laughs> one. Your one is your only five star film of the year, which even I haven't given a film five stars this year. Yeah, man. Although I'm on the boat, or, although I am thinking of changing one film to five stars because it is still in my head. Yeah, yeah. You've given Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 five stars. I mean, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Five, I think five stars is excessive, but I know you. So you Hell know, yeah. Um, I, w- I watched it again last night. I was in I was in a little depression session last night. Yeah. Uh, watched Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Had a little cry. Great. Oh, what a time. It's, it's, tied, as my, it's tied as my favorite MCU film. A little oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, holy, holy shit. And then your number two is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Newton Mayhem. Oh, it's funny you mentioned it, actually. <laughs> it's been the longest segue of all time. Is that why you want me to read your fucking list? Possibly. Right, go on. I went to see Ninja Turtles. Um, here's a I, good thought thing. That, I thought that was just going to be it. Is I want to see... It is a good thing that came out of did, that. Did, did you, son? Did you, yeah, son? Yeah, oh, no, bless did, you. Yeah. I did. I went. On, I went on my own. Um, Same as Barbie. But yeah, I went on my own. Um, bear in mind, it's school holidays. So. <laughs> oh no. Oh, just, no. just children everywhere. And there was, a, you. So, there was a, you. there was a dad and his daughter next to me, and the girl, she must have been like four. She kept looking up at her dad and going, "What did he say?" And the dad's going, "Just watch the film." <laughs> and it was that. It was that. Like every ten minutes, it was great. Uh, how old was the girl, uh, roughly? Oh, uh, she must have been like probably like four or five. Oh, that's, oh bless it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's it cute. was. <laughs> it was like, oh, this is delightful. Um, yeah, and, and here's a great thing that happened when I went to see Ninja Turtles. Um, so I went to the View where it's all reclining seats now. It is now for us as well. Yeah, it's great. In uh, Love it's, it. re- it's really great when it works. My seat didn't work. Je- I want to. So, I, I, I want to see a film mm. earlier uh, last week with Joe, and yeah. his seat didn't work. <laughs> so. yeah. And didn't work. Went to the lady afterwards, and I was like, "Hey, I'm, I don't want to be a prick. I, I don't like want any money back or anything." But the the seat I was in is the, this seat in this screen didn't work. Um, just just to warn you guys in case someone comes in and is an asshole about it. Um, just so you know. And they were like, "Oh, thanks so much. That's so kind of you." Um. Also, you're really handsome, and I was like, oh, I'll stop it." No, they and didn't. Then, and then, <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> they said, and then they said, "But you know, we can we can give you your money back if you want." And I was like, "Well, I'm not, well, not going to say no." But if you got worth, you're offering. <laughs> and then, and they're like, they were like, "Well, you've got two watches. We can either give you the money back, or you can get a complimentary ticket, a free ticket that you can use for any film in the next twelve months at any view." So, did you get the ticket to see Tears Mutant Tales again? And you got the same broken seat <laughs> ticket, and I went and got saw it again the same evening. No, no got, you didn't. I, no, I didn't. I got the ticket. Gonna I'm, I'm going to use it and see Mission Impossible, I think. Or maybe I'll wait till next Friday and see Blue Beetle. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I'm not watching that. I, I'm, I'm not watching that. Maybe I will. 
<laughs> um, yeah, but Ninja Turtles, it's, great. it's fucking great. Yeah, okay, go on. It's so good. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, you know, it's like one of the things where I think I said about it in the anticipated list. Yeah, yeah. That was like, I was like about this, and I'd seen the trailer, and I thought this looked great. No, the uh, trailer didn't come out yet. The trailer didn't come out yet at that point. Yeah. And we were both, and you were like, ah, and then I read, like, who the writers were, and you're like, ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. So I'm like, you know, I'm like, I was excited about this, and I was like, but but knowing me and things that I get excited about. Indiana Jones. Uh, I, yeah, I was like, it's probably going to be shit, actually. It's probably going to turn out to be awful. Went to see it. Oh, my God, it's great. It's so good. And I think, you know, what they've been talking about a lot is that they wanted to they wanted to uh, focus in on the teenage part of yeah, Teenage Mutant yeah, yeah. Tales actually cast teenagers yeah um uh, and they're all very good the cast is great jackie chan as splinter is fucking excellent oh is he in this is he jackie, splinter oh. and he's so good he's all like you boys better fucking stay at home and they're like yeah whatever <laughs> you know classic splinter stuff you know? but, that, man. but it's great um i saw a very funny um well something that i find funny. it's the kind of humor that i would find funny it's someone <laughs> someone i saw on twitter people were kicking off um being like they made if you see in the new ninja Turtles film they made splinter gay right they? uh two points about this one i've seen the movie they don't <laughs> two, <laughs> two uh if they did he's a cartoon rat why do you fucking care yeah shut the fuck <laughs> up what, what he's talking about <laughs> they don't make him gay he um he falls in love with a cockroach oh. uh, don't, don't worry about it um so yeah, everyone's really good in it. Jackie Chan's really good. Ice Cube's really good as the villain. Ice Cube's the villain? Yes. And he's like weirdly threatening. <laughs> he's great. He's like he's like weirdly kind of creepy. And that's what uh, another thing I, I like about the film is that like everything's so fucking gross all the time. Nice. Like everything's so mucky and grim and horrible. Um, on and yeah, I think it's just it's really good. I enjoyed it. I liked the whole thing of the Ninja Turtles being like, oh, we just want to be accepted or whatever. It's like a coming of age story. And they're like, cool. we just want, just want to go to school. Like, why can't we go to school? Just look, yeah. Look, 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 whatever. And it's like, no, you got to stay in the sewers or whatever. And Jackie Chan's like, no, nah, they're going to, if you go up to the surface, they're going to milk you and whatever. <laughs> they're going to uh, milk you? Yeah, it's, the a fuck? it's a run joke in the movie. Oh, okay. I was going to say, what <laughs> like, the they're fuck? They're going to catch you and they're going to milk you and they keep that, going that, like, that's an actual. That's an actual thing. Yeah, that's a running joke in the movie, and, and the turtles are like, we don't even have nipples, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's very funny. Overall, um, my only, there's only a couple of complaints I would have if I had to have some, which I don't, but I will, because um, it's me. I'd say um, they, they've clearly, um, they've clearly encouraged the guys playing the Ninja Turtles to improvise. Right. And a lot of the time, the, 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 it's great, and it's funny, and it, it's, it all feels really natural, and they feel like real teenagers. My negative with it is that um, they all kind of slip out of character. And, right, I get you. And sometimes all of the tales feel like the same guy. They're all nice. just regular teenagers, as opposed to Donatello's the smart one, Raph's the angry one, mm-hmm. Mikey's the funny one. They're just kind of all the funny one. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kind of blur into one, which is fine. I'm sure that they can hone that more in sequels and whatever, which mm-hmm. they've said, and so that's fine. Uh, sure. My my other thing would be um, there's, there's some stuff which, hey, you know, most people aren't going to give a fuck about this. Maybe it's just me. They changed a couple of things, like law wise, right. ninja, ninja law wise, where I'm like. That's not as fun. Splinter just being a rat that turns into a big rat, as opposed to uh, being a as opposed to being a guy that knew karate that got turned into a rat. Right. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, but so they end up they're not learning ninja stuff from Splinter. They all this when the tales are kids, they decide they want to go up to the surface, and Splinter's like, fine, I'll take you up to the surface, and they go. And then they get beaten the fuck out of, and like everyone's like, "Go, oh, like, oh, what a horrible monster or whatever." So Splinter decides that they didn't, that can never happen again, and they need to defend themselves. And so he he like finds a load of old karate movies, and what, and they learn from watching like Jackie Chan movies and Bruce Lee movies, and 
and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, just, yeah, yeah. it's not as good. Um, but you know, who cares? It's fucking Ninja Turtles. <clears throat> Cause the fuck, except me, I guess. But yeah, yeah, overall, really like it. Animation's really cool. Characters are great. It's really funny. Uh, Paul Rudd's really good in it. Um, as Mondo Gecko, mutant <laughs> Gecko, got rollerblades on the bottom of his tail. Ah, right, cool. Hey, Ray Filet also. Post Malone plays Ray Filet, who's a is like a big stingray man. Right. But he just he just wants to sing, man. Right. <laughs> Ice Cube's like stop singing all the time. <laughs> it's great. I can't I can't describe this without like sounding stupid, and it is kind of stupid, <laughs> but but it's fun. I I enjoyed it a lot. I liked it. Ah, good for you. Thanks, thanks, dude. I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> The um, uh, I saw a film as I said, I saw one with right. Joe with Joseph Caslin, and uh, I'm going to change my background to give it a hint and see if you get it. D- do, you, do you get it, Robbie? I well, I know that you saw the film Talk to Me, uh, Raka Raka. Is, is this one of Raka and or Raka? That, that is one of Raka, okay. As, as Ronald McDonald, who yeah. this I, I this is why I discovered this because obviously they're both YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Raka Raka, and I found oh yeah, they they did a film. And, oh shit, why do I recognize that name? I remember back a few years back of seeing this fucking Ronald of them doing Ronald McDonald shit, but mm. like like he he did deathmatch wrestling. <laughs> Brilliant, of course he did. <laughs> so, so so there you go. There, there's a, there's a screenshot of Ronald McDonald with a barbed wire baseball bat. There you um, go. Because, to see it. So yeah, uh, but yeah, talk to me. Um, the the newest A twenty four horror horror flick. Um, yeah. That it, that I went in. That I persuaded Joe to see it because I was like, oh, so you, well, you went like, well, you're doing Friday or Thursday. I went, well, I can't do Thursday. I'm busy Thursday because I'm filming. I was mm. filming thing with the Terabithia films. Yeah. Uh, and I went, well, I can do Friday. I went, why? He was like, ah, oh, because I'm going to be because he now lives in. He's now got a flat in Durham now. I think. Oh, okay. um, so, he, but he was going to be back in Hartlepool for a bit for like work based stuff. He went, Oh, yeah, do you want to like catch? Did you know if you wanted to see indie? Mm. Um, and I went, As in the new in, as in the new independent film or Indiana Jones 5. Yeah, and he went, And he went, I mean, either I was just going to say indie because I just want to like see it. Because, you know, he, okay. said, he, he said he just wanted to see if he just wanted to be, he wanted to go to the cinema out and be in it a while. Oh, okay. He did Barbenheim in this. I don't know what the fuck he's, uh, but anyway. But I went, oh, well, I was going to see the new A24. Or he went, yeah, fuck yeah, I'll see that instead. Fuck it, I just want to go to see them. Right. And I went, okay. And then he he did he did try to tempt me. He went, like, how about we do, like, a double bill? How about we do Teenage Mutant Ninja Tales and then talk to me? Hell and yeah. I went, I was going to do something else, actually. And then we ended up just bullshitting before talking mm-hmm. to me. And then we just went to see talk to me. Um, okay. but, um, but for people who might be either turned off by the fact of, like, uh, the new A24 horror film it's actually their most accessible horror flick, mm. I would say. I would say, obviously, the, obviously, this wasn't a produced by A24 film. They distributed it. They, 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 uh, they bought the distribution rights at Sundance when it screened all at the time. It, yeah. it was a part of a bit of more thing. Um, but it, I, I, I would say, what I wanted, Joe, I was like, there was a lot of A20. There was a lot of post horror themes in it, in the sense of like it's a film mm. about dealing with grief and stuff. And there's you know a lot of elevated horror-ish type of things. But it's also, but it's also kind of a fun time. Like yeah. it's, it, it's weirdly enough that their most fun horror flick. It like it's, it's a twenty four's closest horror film to like what Blumhouse might, would have done. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's that type of thing. So it's that kind of thing. Um, a lot of really cool practical makeup shit. Really cool inventive camera work. I like how the protagonist is kind of flawed, mm-hmm. but you get her. It's yeah. re- it's really really good, really well done. There's moments where, and there's also moments where. It's like the the gore moment. It's a 15 rate film, so it's not too much. Mm. But there's moments where even I was like, ah, oh, fuck, even that, even that's difficult for me to watch. And think about the film we just talked about. Yeah. <laughs> and, there's, and there's a specific moment where a character smacks their head off a table. Mm. And the sound design is mad. It's fucking like, like there's a moment early in the film where someone just gets hit with a pillow, like a joker, like, boop. But yeah. the sound, but the sound design for the pillow hits like a. <laughs> so it's like, fuck! If that's the pillow. Yeah. If that's the pillow. Yeah. What, holy what, shit. what else is this film gonna be? And I'm not gonna spoil it, but oh man, I fuck so hard with that ending. That film, oh, yeah. that ending is ah, oh, the ending's so fucking good. It's like maybe one of the best endings to a 
mm. to a film this year. Not even a horror oh, okay. film, just yeah. one of my favorite endings to a film this year. Mm. And they announced a sequel, A24. Yeah, they did, it's yeah. going to be a sequel. So I'm like, I'm excited for that. It's a cool premise. It's a mm. cool thing where it's like, I don't know how much you know about it, Robbie. Yeah, I know general gist of what it's about. Yeah. You know about like, it's like the hand. Yeah, yeah. It's like this like fucking hand and you touch and you go talk to me. And it's like a possession thing. Yeah. It's a cool... It's a uh, what I like about my what I like about my horror, my mm. horror. Um, mm. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm thinking a lot about horror filmmaking lately because what I'm in pre-production planning of my next horror film, mm. um, which is a possession film as well. So kind of a good, kind of good mixture to watch this actually. Uh, but also, I'm writing several scripts and they're all horrors at the minute. So I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm bouncing through all the type of thing. Uh, but what this one does really well, like in my horror, is like a real life thing, mm. but just replace one thing with a horror thing and you're instantly yeah. it's a genre film. Like for like this film, like talk to me very well could just be a film about drug addiction. Yeah. But they switch the drugs to possession. Mm. Okay. Like like they like it's almost like the hand is being passed around like it's the like it's a bong. Yeah. Type of things like, whoa, I want to try that. And yeah, you know, it's a, it, you know, so and it does a fucking really excellent job at it. So it's cool, like that. Story is really good. I like the acting. It's fucking brutal when it needs to be brutal. I'm looking forward to the sequel. So that's my thing with a uh, yeah, talk to me. Yeah. Um, I got a few points. Hmm. Um, one of them I don't know why I've written down. Okay. I, I got post Barbenheimer <laughs> as a note. And there was clearly a point, a story that I had, but I can't remember it about talking to people about Barb and I'm, so I'm just going to move on because I can't, okay. because I can't remember it. But yeah, Barb and I'm has fucking been been a sensation on it now. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was on set for one of the Terabithia, uh, for the re- most recent Terabithia film, and we were all talking about it. Mm. And the main conversation, the first AD was talking about, I was like, do you feel there was any need for Florence Pugh's tits? And I went, if I'm being honest, it was one of the more weird nude scenes I've ever seen in a film. And yeah. It's one, it's one of the more weirdest ones. And then it kept getting discussed. And then I went, and I went to like, um, and I, and I just said out loud, I went, it's this three hour war epic that goes through like this, like, um, you know, the morality of war and all that. And the main thing I'm hearing about people talk about is Florence Pugh's tits. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's weird. Oh, and it's amusing to me how that's a thing. And that's a yeah. factor. Um, was there someone else? I can't remember. I think there was a thing at like a party that was at amongst the the once Oak Royal lot. They've all moved out uh, now, I think. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. God, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Might be the last time I'm in there. <laughs> oh, I've got a message off of Reese. Oh, what do you want? Oh, my God. It's not Spider Man. Oh, no. He's message. He's He sent me two reels. Let's see what they are. Are they both Spider Man? Are they the same fucking thing, actually? Is is one of them a Steve Merchant meme? Yeah. Yeah. Is the, is the one before that Spider Man? No. Is it? Um, my girlfriend's brother is mad. I'm here. He's out of control. Lol. No. Uh, okay. All right. He 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 he, he, he does he does he does tailor these things. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh... One of them I want to state is I just it's 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 more of a little statement thing. I'm currently oh, yeah. playing Alan Wake. Oh yeah, that, that's the game I'm currently playing through. I've lent uh, no, I've uh, Lewis has lent me his copy of the PS5 remastered. Mm. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you've played it, Robbie. Never. My God, I'm so pissed off at the enemies because <laughs> the because oh. the, the mechanic of Alan Wake is like the enemies come out during the dark. Okay. So if you're in a light source, they can't fucking get you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can hit L2 to blast a torch at them, and then that weakens them, and then you can shoot them and kill okay. them. Yeah, yeah. That that's, that, so that's the thing. And you can have you pick up other things. like You can pick up a flare, which you can mm-hmm. drop a flare, and that can weaken a whole load of people. Yeah, you can yeah. flashbang them, which can kill them instantly anyway. So cool. it's, it, I really like the mechanics. It's a really cool, fun little thing, and it's like it's doable. But the fucking enemies, they... They, they like they're bum rushers is the best way I can describe. Uh, okay. They're not like they're not like one at a time slow plod and walk. They're like loads of them and they run at you. So you have to be fucking quick with some of them. Yeah. And there's and there's one point, and I and and the game split into episodes. So in my mind, I'm like, right, I can go one episode a day. And I looked up the six episodes. So I went, I can complete this within a week. 
Fuck yeah. it. That could be Great. fun. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. And I can just dedicate a day each day to an episode. Mm-hmm. And then whatever. So I'm not just like making my life out awake for a bit. I haven't yeah. touched the game in two days, Robbie. Mm-hmm. Because, and I'm still in episode three. And there's a bit I've come up to where you end up like running away. It's nighttime. Fucking whatever. Okay. You pick up flares. You pick up shit. Then you cross a bridge. Mm-hmm. Then you could switch our weapon for a shotgun. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And and the mechanic as well is like with this like once you run out of ammo for a gun, it just immediately switches to mm. another weapon. So it's not like now select your revolver. It just automatically goes. Uh, okay, yeah. So again, it's it's all get it. It works well for people like me who aren't big gamers but like a bit of yeah. whatever. So I'm like, okay, pick up the gun, run, and then there's points where you could switch on like a floodlight thing. Mm. Did, he say, did you get another? Re- yeah, I got another. I've re- just got another one. I just got another one there as well. Yeah. Is there someone looking through a fridge? Yes. Someone called the perfect loop or whatever. Yes, that's so, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fox. How, how long is it going to take till I see a Spider Man? Um, so, be, yeah. So it's like you switch on like a floodlight, and the whole point is like if you stay behind the floodlight and the enemies run to you, they'll get weakened they'll run into the light get sucked in then you just shoot them so you didn't need, so you don't need to waste batteries with your torch yeah fucking that's fine you get through a good few in that regard four of them then you run to another point where there's a floodlight mm. and then there's just loads of them there's big bastards i end up getting fucking mauled because i've just went through so much you reset before the bridge so it's not even like you oh. reset. So I'm like, motherfucker. So, but it's not even like, a, I, I think I know what I need to do now. I need, I, I, Cause I haven't been dropping flares or flashbangs. I've just been relying yeah. on the fucking light. I'll try that next time. But fuck me. I went through so many times and I'm in the house by myself. And so, but it's a thing where it's like, they, they all run at you and they all start fucking hacking and attacking you. And yeah. there's one big bastard that hits you three times. Oh, Jesus. And, like, oh, fuck. and, it, and it's a, a general goal point where I was like, just fuck off. For, uh, this is me. Literally, mm. I'm just got Here's an actual reenactment of what was happening with me in that moment. And I'm yes. like, just, just, just fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Just fuck fuck off! And then I just like, just rage quit and just stopped. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm making myself a pasta. And then I just... <laughs> She and I was like, I can only do that because I'm on the house by myself. Yeah, <laughs> I can only scream. Just fuck off. Just go like, away. I'm, I'm sick of this. It, like it got, it didn't even get to a rage quit thing where I felt like a teenager being like, the game shit. It, like I know I'm the issue here. Like yeah. I, like I'm, uh, but it's like I'm just like, oh fuck's sake, I'm done with this for a bit, so I'll get back to it. So that's my Alan Wake thing. At the Very minute. nice. Uh, I know there's a sequel coming out as well later mm. this year. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, my hope is I can finish this game. So I could get to the sequel. Yeah, nice. Um, I, I have a, I have a, a bit of a horror story just to tell you right now. Oh, go for it, and then we can lead on to the like the latter bit of the intermission. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um. So, uh, this podcast. Yes. Yes. My recording paused at two hours for some reason. Okay, that's not too bad. Just get it rolling again. Yeah, I've got it rolling again now. It just, okay. I think it, I don't know what's happened. It looks like my microphone's become disconnected at some point or something. And oh, it's just yeah, stopped okay. the recording and I've plugged it back in again. And it's fine. So yeah, there you go. About two hours, did you say? It said about two hours in, yeah. Okay, that's 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 a thing for me to do tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two hours is fine. That's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. Be, I've got, I've got the recorded. Okay, so that's like, I think it, it's, it's when half an hour. I think it's, it's when, I think it's when we're in the intermission. Yeah, it's Mr. Uh, that's fine. I could just use the Skype audio for that bit if yeah. it needs to be. Cool. Fuck it. And the last little bitty bit, because we mm-hmm. did do it last time, Robbie. Yeah. Let's see oh, if yeah. we can if we can give ourselves some ratings for all the other intermission films. Oh my god. Films. Yes. So, let me start typing stuff out for a second. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I need to. It's, oh, it's not. It's not even necessarily a thing. I'll, I'll say this while I'm doing this. Mm. Um, I, I said to you I had a McFlurry emergency today. Oh, yeah. What the fuck was that about? Um, and by a McFlurry emergency, I just felt... I, I thought I would treat myself to a McFlurry. <laughs> oh, okay. You had, a, you had an urge to get a McFlurry is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but, so I got my car because I can now do that. Yeah. Um, 
And I went to the marina, mm-hmm. fucking McDonald's, in and out pretty quick. Yeah. I did. I made the decision. I did, again, I'm not sure if this is a thing where like, a typical. It's, it's a very Oscar thing, mm. and I've, and part of me feels like you could relate to this moment, yes. Robbie. I've never went to McDonald's by myself to just order a McFlurry. Yeah. I've I've went to McDonald's and got a, and just got a McFlurry by being we with other people. Yes. So, it, but I've never just went parked up, went mm. inside, got a McFlurry, and then left. Yeah. Part of me feels like, oh, is that going to just look weird? Am I going to be able to do that? Like, am mm. I going? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, the kind of stuff like, I'd be going through my brain. Yeah. Like, uh, am I going to have to just get a meal as well? But I've already had me burger and chips. Like, yeah. So I, you know, so I can't just do another thing. Yeah. So. Uh, so then in my head, I'm like, if I order two McFlurries... Oh, it looks then... like you're picking one up for someone. Yeah. Yeah, That's genius. exactly my thought. Genius but then I'm level like, play. But then I did that, and then I thought to myself, would anyone even think about that? Would anyone even no, give no a fuck? No, no one would care. If I, like, yeah, one Mc... order 16, yeah, that's me, yeah, here's one McFlurry. No one's going to be like, hang the fuck on. Yeah, you fucking but like me, creep. But, but me being... Yeah, exactly. No one's going to be like, you <laughs> fucking weirdo. But, yeah. like, if I'm picking up two McFlurries, I'm like... Oh well, that's like you know, I've like yeah. fucking like you know I'm oh, I'm like picking some up, yeah, whatever. But then, <laughs> so then I got, and then the first little incident that happened is like I walked out, mm. went to the car, and then I went to put I was about to put the ice cream in my cup holder. Mm-hmm. I looked down on my black hoodie. And I go, <sighs> hey, there's a bit of a white splodge there. Oh, why is that? And I look. Oh, yeah, because it started dripping outside the uh, fucking cup. And as God. I saw that, the drop went down on my driver's seat. I went, ah, oh, fuck's sake. So I had like, the, and the only thing that I didn't have any tissues with me. So all I had to do was wrap the receipt round uh, one of the fu- one of the fu- And then as I'm doing that and clean up the fucking, I'm like wiping the receipt on my driver's seat so I don't sit yeah, in it. Yeah. And I don't want my car to smell like fucking smelly yeah, ice cream no, when it's like all done. Want. Uh, and then as I'm doing this, I just got a fucking child. And by a child, I mean like a teenager mm. who like hopped over the fucking wall bit. Yeah. And I guess talking about which, whatever female he was with, I don't mm. fucking know. Was it his sister? Was it his girlfriend? Was it his mate? I don't fucking know. It was just someone else he was with. It was like, sh- and he, just, he was talking to me. I know he was talking to me because he was mm. stood by my car looking at me as I'm trying to clean the fucking McFlurry. Mm. And he's going like, she's going to get me an ice cream and a Big Mac and a large fries and a large... Cl-. I'm like, I'm, I'm not answering. But like I was, but he was pausing after every fucking bit of, <laughs> to see if I was going to answer. But like, I, at first, should I... Like in my head, I'm like, should I go? Oh, really? But Let's then I'm like, that. but then I'm like, no, I'm just gonna clean me fucking seat. I'm just gonna get in me car and just walk away and just drive. Yeah. He eventually left before, but like, I'm like, what was this interaction gonna be? What, yeah, what, did, what, did, what did he want from that? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. But it was like, it was a chubby type of kid yeah. that, like, the way, and it, I'm not sure if it's the same with you mm. in in your home place or if you've experienced this in Hartlepool. The way chavy kids in Hartlepool talk about shit, they almost sound confrontational and they sound like they're patronizing you, but they say just the most bog standard shit. Yeah. Like, it's just like, say, so, hey, I crossed the road and it was a green light, me like. It's like, all right. Yeah. What do, you, what, do you want, what, do you want, right? what do you want from me? <laughs> but they say it like as if they're good, they want you to, like, they say this if they take taking the piss out of you. Yeah, they, you they say I mean? it like they want you to call them a cunt so they can start a fight on you. But it's like, mm. yeah, you're just saying a fact. Or it's like, yeah, hey, they sell lettuce in Asda. It's like, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And and what? But if, you so, went, but if you went and what, they'd go, you fucking stein. And then yeah, be, yeah. And then you'd be done. Yeah, and I can't be asked. I can't yeah. be asked. I can't be asked. in a fight with someone 15 years younger yeah, than me. Yeah, it's not. It's not. When he gets to that point where I'm like, look, yeah. look, mate. Oh, you find like, a 35 year old. Like, look, mate, you were you were, you weren't born when I was getting <laughs> ready for my GCSEs. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I should I should I should break that out. I was like, look, mate, I left school before your dad ejaculated your mum. Fuck off. Yeah, I can't please go away. With, I can't be fucked with you. <laughs> and I wish your dad left you in the tissue. Oh <laughs> Jesus. God bless. <laughs> left you in the tissue like you got put back in yeah <laughs> like you went into the tissue right 
I think we'll keep this one in there. <laughs> like a sea monkey. How do you think that works? <laughs> Oh, no. But then what ended up happening is I got back and I put one McFlurry in the freezer and I ate another McFlurry. But then I just ended up being a fat fuck because I'm like, right, what am I going to do with that second one? Yeah, then that you was, feel bad that, about it. That was the thing that was going through my head as well when I got in my car and I'm like, right, I got two McFlurries. There isn't another person that this is for. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, if you can, so have, you, have you had it yet? Yeah, I already ate it. Oh, that's a shame. Because uh, my point being like, I finished the first one. And yeah. with, I didn't even pause. I just went back downstairs in my freezer, took the fucking thing out, and <laughs> it wasn't. It, <laughs> Jesus, it was such a sad feeling. And then I was like, right, I guess I should get ready for the intermission now. Yeah, like, that, that's, that's oh, what man. that. But yeah, what what were you gonna say? Like, what should I have done? I was gonna say if it's still in your freezer, if you could try and keep it alive <laughs> to Leeds. Oh, Jesus great. Christ. If you could, like, stick it in a freezer box in your car whilst you're coming to Leeds. Or oh, however I'm, you're getting here. Are you getting I'm the train? Get, I'm getting the train. Oh, okay. I'm not... Yeah, if, you get, <laughs> if you could go in on the train with a freezer box with a McFlurry in it, that'd be great. I'm, or, like, no, I'm just carrying it. Yeah, just, yeah, just carry it. And it slowly melts. I get a fucking smarty soup. It's like, don't, don't look. It, it's a galaxy. It was a galaxy one. Oh, shit, man. No, they're the better ones, mate. No, nah, don't be a dick. You don't mean what, that. What do you? No, I do mean that. No, What's you the don't. fucking matter? Yeah, oh, I do. Fuck off. Why? Why are you? Why are you fucking McFlurry purist? I'm What's gatekeeper the... McFlurry. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the caramel ones. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, it was a Cadbury yeah, caramel. Yeah, fucking thing. yeah, they're nice. It wasn't just Cadbury chocolate in an ice it's cream. Not, it's not Smarties though. What, what is that? Your favorite chocolate? It's the best one, mate. It's not the best chocolate, <laughs> but it's the best McFlurry. Tell you that much for true. Ah, okay, fair, fair. Tell you that much for Nout. God, we talked about so many films. I'm just saying. I know. We should probably uh, just do like a certain amount because I need to go to bed. Hang on. Right. We'll get through as many as we can, Robbie. Okay. How about that? Jesus. Oh, right. God. There's so many of these I won't remember ever seeing them. Well, that's the point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to remind you. Okay. Okay. First of all, Godfather. It's a five-star one for me. It's a three and a half star one from me. That's that's how I thought you would have given it. Yeah. Um, the conversation. That's a. F- Could I change the Godfather to three and make that a three and a half, please? Oh, you gave that lower. Yeah. I, I, lower than I thought you would have done. I mean. Oh really? I thought well, it may, may, it's a four and a half for me. I thought you would have like put like. Yeah, a four I like. Probably. I like. I like it. Uh, Godfather two. Four, three, yeah, four. It's four and a half for me. Yeah. Uh, Apocalypse Now. I also want to preface everyone. Robbie watched a different cut than I did. Jesus. Robbie watched the the worst cut to watch. <sighs> he watched the Redux cut. It's somewhere between a two and a half and a three. But I don't know. I'll say a three. Yeah, sure. I'll put it as a three. I give it a okay. five. It's a five star for me. Oof. Um. Uh, the Godfather three. That's a one. That's, that's, that's... Oh, that's a five, bro. I love that movie. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're not giving it a five. No, I'll give it a one. It's not <laughs> no, good. I was gonna say, let's go it's on. It's a mate. bad film, um, especially the so... incest bit. Yeah, people forget that. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> people forget that. Um, oh yeah, I'm. I'm only thinking about this because I ended up like because I saw Connor Love because Connor Lover and I, he's on the side of like I don't understand the full hate of godfather 3 no um but uh by when no, 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 no. Scre- but uh, but like talk to me finished everyone left talk mm. to me and then i see connor lover and callum hemmons just like in our row and mm. like oh shit and then joe and ah uh, another pair of wankers oh jesus <laughs> like another two fellows i uh, went to see an a24 oh, film in the front geez. row uh, um, uh serpico uh three and a half nah that's like a five for me yeah i guess but that's only recently just a yeah. five for me. It was like a four and a half, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, dog, dog Day Afternoon. It's a four. Oh, that's a five for me. That's a really good one, that one. Yeah, I like that one. one. I like that one a lot. Uh, Twilight Hunger Men. It's a four. It's a five, obviously. I think it's the best film. Yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park. Five. Uh, three. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're a fucking moron. Just move on to the next one before I get upset. Go on. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Two. Two and a if half. That, 
If two that, and a half. To do, you know, do you know what it is for me? It, it's literally the it's the Russian roulette scene where I'm like, that's an old timer scene, so I can't yeah. say. Yeah, it's you can't say shit. it's like yeah, but, but yeah. fuck it out. Uh, it's a wonderful life. It's a it's a four and a half. No, oh, that's a five. That's like that's like top five favorite film ever. For yeah, me. That's like, yeah. Fucking love that one. Can it be Christmas already so I can watch that again? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Citizen Kane. Two. Thieve. <laughs> that, that's not, that, that falls in the same line as Come and See for me, where it's like, it's an appreciation thing, but also like there's a lot of filmmaking stuff in that one I really like. Yeah, sure. Uh, Some Like It Hot. It's a three. Yeah, yeah, that's a five for me. It's one of my favorite comedies that I like. Yeah, that's fair. Sure. Hang on, hang on. I need to reevaluate some of this shit. Hang on a minute. I'm giving Serpico two and a half. Not two and a half, four and a half. Yeah. And I'm giving. Yeah, that's about right. Seven sound right. Four. Okay. Five. They get top three favorite, that is. Vertigo. Yeah. Oh, why don't I give that one? <laughs> three. Four. Mm. Yeah. Spirit mm. Away. Uh, two. Five. <laughs> fucking what? I love fucking we fucking yeah, love that I, film. Yeah, I, sure. Uh, Way of the Dragon. I don't remember a thing about Chuck, it. Chuck Norris fight. Chuck Norris Bruce Lee film. When he's in Italy. Uh, yeah. I, two and a half. All, all of those blur into one movie for me. I have absolutely, no, I have absolutely no idea what that movie is about or is. It's a four and a half, mate. I've, Two and a half, A Way of the Dragon. I, don't, I, I have no idea what it is. It's the one where he, he's, he's, it's the first one with the double nunchucks. It's the, um, it's the one where he, uh, he's a bit of a funny man in that one. He's a I, bit of a comedian. I have one. absolutely no recollection of it. Nah, well, Robbie in the time would have given it higher than two and a half. I'm sure he would have done, but that guy's a fucking idiot. Harakiri. Two. Oh, no, that's a five. Again, I don't remember it at all. Mm. Where it's like, if I don't remember something, it's probably not great. It's it's funny to me because it's just I remember because I remember bits and I remember where the dragon you'd be like it might be the best one we've reviewed so far that's not Jurassic Park and then same thing oh. with Harakiri Harakiri like best samurai film right, it's probably the best one really <laughs> so just, yeah no yeah, yeah. yeah just skim through it if you whenever you can yeah, yeah, yeah I'll give it another watch at some point I'll, you know what I'll ha- I'll underline those two films and I'll wait for you to actually get yeah, your okay. opinion back on those yeah, ones yeah yeah uh, Goodfellas it's like four it's good. That's a five. That's a really yeah. good one. That's a really fucking good one. City Lights. That's Did the I... one with the blind girl, Charlie Chaplin. Oh, fuck. The boxing scene. You got stressed for it for some reason. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Days and Confused. Four. That's a five. Yeah. Hidden Fortress. Two and a Cur- half. Uh, uh, that's fair for you, I guess. That's yeah. a four, I think. Yeah. Yeah, four. Uh, West Side Story, the OG. No. Two. Uh, that's a four for me. <laughs> Fucking what? I think we have differences as well in terms yeah. of like, like, like a four isn't one of the best, best, best to me. You know what I mean? That's like, But that's like eight out of ten is what you're giving that. No, it's a four or five is what it is. I don't. Which is an eight out of ten. Bro. Yeah, that's but that fractions. doesn't register to me in that regard. You that's know the I mean? same thing. All right, well, eight out of ten then. Yeah, fine. What the fuck? I like the fucking imagery of it. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things with it. It's, it, it, it. Blade Runner. Um, three. Actually, don't. I'm going to come back to one because I don't necessarily want to give that rating. I can't yeah. at the minute. I can't give. Like, yeah. But by Robbie logic, I'll give it two and a half. But yeah. But part of me also thinks maybe a three as well. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I'll say three actually, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Psycho. Um, three. That's like a five for me. That's like top tier horror for me. That's like it's not a horror film. Psycho is a horror film. No, it's what are not. you? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Continue. Yes, it is. Nah, you're you're incorrect. It's a in it's a ways. it's a horror film in the same way that like Gone Girl is a horror film. 
Incorrect. In the sense Incorrect. that it's not. It's just got murders in it. Mm, disagree. Okay. Heavily disagree. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Five. Yeah, no, I would agree. That's your first be- five that isn't Jurassic Park film. the best, man. I fucking love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> what did yeah. you call it? The Trial of OJ Christmas at one point. <laughs> no, the People versus OJ Christmas. That's what you called it. <laughs> did I really? You did. It was like that's Jura Philip. It, like... Ju- it was Jura Philadelphia <laughs> story. I think you called it that. You called it like the People versus OJ Christmas. That's one of the best jokes I've ever made. And I completely um, forgot about it. That's incredible. <laughs> Casablanca. Um, three and a half. That's a three. Yeah. Wow, you gave that higher than I did. No, um, I like it more than you. Fist of Fury. That's the one with um, the Russian man. And um, what did he do? Oh, that's the big dojo fight. Bruce Lee and the big dojo fight. Um, Three. Like a four for me. Yeah. As if you, um, as if you immediately think that's higher than Way of Dragon for you. I have I well again I have no no I don't know no I don't know I have no recollection of it I I know the the dun, the dojo fight when you said that right okay, I remember okay. that being cool yeah I remember the Chuck Norris fight and being like yeah it's all right so that's why I'm that's why I'm putting it slightly lower oh that's like one of the best fights ever mate sure like the Chuck Norris Bruce Lee fight I I, I don't remember it oh I think you don't I think I realized that you and me. You've changed in terms of like an action, is all I'm saying. If that's what okay. you think, if that's what you think within okay. that regard. I told Lewis about your letterbox ranking when I went, he's given John Wick 4 two stars when he hasn't finished it, which is lower than Quantum Mania. <laughs> and he's also given fucking Avatar 2 four stars. And then to which then Lewis went, like, yeah. I don't think Robbie likes movies. <laughs> I do like movies, I like good I, movies. Yeah, you find less and less these days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kramer versus Kramer. Uh, three and a half. Like a four and a half for me. Yeah, I like, I like that movie. Uh, Philadelphia Story. Which, oh, f- oh, God. <laughs> one. Four Fuck. and a half. Four and a half for me. Holy shit. Uh, sort of Doom. What, sh- what is that? That's the samurai film where it's uh, more. Uh, can't, can't. The only thing I can remember you saying about it is it might be the best samurai film you've seen, <laughs> and and it's the Itatsu Nakadai, more of a cynical samurai look type of thing. Got that really cool ass like long fight, like down like the trees and shit. Uh, no idea. Okay, well I'll I'll underline it. Okay, we'll, re- we'll revisit that. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a four and a half. Uh, Umbrella the Cherbourg. One. Four and a half. Uh, seven Year Rich. I liked that one a lot, I remember. You did. I liked it more than you. Oh, yeah, you did. Four, I think. That's a two. That's a strong two for oh, me. Oh, my God. All quite on the Western Front. Um, Three. Half. That's a four and a half for me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Grave of the Fireflies. It's... F- Two. Four and a half for me. Ron? No, I can't remember it. At uh, all. Big colourful samurai film. As in, like, it's just got loads of. It's Kira Kurosawa film. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, two and a half. No, right, that's a five for me. We can... I remember C. I remember it vaguely. Yeah. Yeah, you you won't fuss now. I do remember that. I yeah. do remember you. Halloween, the OG. Three and a half. That's a five. I fucking love that one. That's a really mm-hmm. good one. Christmas Story. Three. Oh, okay. That's a five. I'm surprised more so because I thought it would have been lower for you. Uh, yes. Yeah, I just remember that kid being a fucking weirdo. And we've caught up. That's it. We've caught up. Because oh we, did the, we did all this season anyway. Oh, okay. And again, the one, more than that. again, the ones I've highlighted, I've highlighted um, Way of the Dragon, because I don't yeah. believe you've given that a two. I don't believe you would give that a two out of five. Okay. Just purely from my memory how of our of our glee in terms of how giddy we were talking about that fucking film. Yes. I don't think you, and also Harry Kiri, I don't think you would have given that a two. 
You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's one of those things. I'm not sure yeah. how I would refresh your information on this. But, yes. But, and, also, and also Sword of Doom, which we've agreed where you can't even remember that fucking thing. But I do remember you. Yeah. It's interesting. The three films I've highlighted are three films I do remember you saying you loved. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so it's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an interesting. So anyway, that is our... We'll, we'll begin to wrap it up. Mm-hmm. And uh, next... The next three weeks is going to be the end of season five. Um, And it's going to be on a trilogy, as I keep saying. Uh, And uh, this one. uh, So each week we are going through one film in a trilogy. And then we'll wrap up season five until we until we go to the Halloween special. Um, And the trilogy we're going to be talking about, Rob A. Yes. Do, Do you do you do you think you know what it is? I think I know what it is. Hey, uh, um, well, I'll give you. Uh, I'll I'll do a little thing. You see if you can get it. Yeah. Da 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 da. da. We're doing the Indiana Jones trilogy. Fuck yeah, baby! <laughs> so, so, I'm so excited. So next week, obviously, it's gonna be Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, man. Is what we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. I haven't watched these films in a few years, actually. Yeah, I can't wait to get to the problematic one. Temple? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we like, hey, like E. Kwan in this uh, channel, but yeah. E. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. So that's going to be next week. We'll be talking about Raiders of the Lost Ark next week. Um, oh, yeah. Or next episode. It Well, hopefully it's next week, because otherwise you're gone for like however fucking long. Otherwise I'm not in the country, baby. Imagine I replace you for these episodes. Oh, I'd fucking kill you. <laughs> I'd I'd completely disown you. And as a yeah. human. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, yeah. Thank you all. That's 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 what we're going to be doing next. We're ending season five off with the Ra- with with the Raiders trilogy, the Indiana Jones trilogy. Fuck. Oh me. hell um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it's the whole plan was going to be like, oh yeah, by that point, you know. Dial of Destiny will still be fresh in people's mind. Pfft, absolutely not. Yeah, no, <laughs> not a chance. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, gone, it's gone from everyone now. Um, yeah. But there's no Barbie trilogy. We could we, we talk about the animated Barbie films. Oh, or the, uh, or the uh, I was going to oh, say, or the God. Christopher Nolan trilogy. I was like, he hasn't done... The, we we could have done the Dark Knight trilogy. We could have done the Dark Knight trilogy. Maybe at some point. Um, Maybe but, one um, day we'll do it and I can voice my opinions on those movies that are okay and then the middle's really good. <laughs> And we'll go no further than that. Batman Begins is really good. No, it's uh, not. Yes, it is. It's very of its time. Continue. Uh, and what's wrong with that? Uh, every, uh, lots of things. <laughs> you're telling me that none of... you tell telling me Guardians of the Galaxy isn't very of its time. You were fucking good. That's going to be aging like fucking milk. What? what? Guardians of the Galaxy. The first one? Yes. What are you talking about? What are you? What are you? What are you? What, what, are, you, are, you, ta- what are you talking about? A- aging like milk. That, the the whole like that's very that's very like twenty tens. What what are you talking about? I'm, I'm so, that's what I said. I in just what said in that. what sense is that twenty tens? It's very referential. It's very like tongue and cheeky. Ha ha. Humor humor humor. The CGI is definitely going to be noticeable. Uh, no. Yes. yes. The CGI is great. All the references are to things from the nineteen eighties, which is very twenty tens, and it's that's old what- then. It's fucking old then. Yeah, but that's the point. The, the character, he, he left Earth in the 1980s. Yeah, but it doesn't make... Yeah, but it's funny now because we're all fine at funny. It's not going to be funny. It's not funny now. Yeah, it is. And I'm coming from someone that don't that doesn't mind the first Guardians film. I like that yeah. one, but, it's, but it is very of its time. You look at any of those Marvel films, they're all of their time. Ah, oh, Jesus, right. They're, they're all stuck in the time. Finish anyway. this fucking thing off, will you? Yeah. Anyway, thank <laughs> you all for watching or listening. Links in the description for everything like that. <laughs> Uh yeah, next week is Raiders All Stark and until next time, sign us off, Robbie. I'm angry now. Bye. <laughs>